But alrighty. Yeah, let's uh, go ahead and start up... Uh... There we go, yeah. Sien Yun Story Quest. Let's play. Uh, go to Mao Aotang. Oh, okay, so we're just going back to, yeah, her... Her humble abode. Alright, let's go. We've been to so many places lately. What do you say we take a day off from adventuring and just find somewhere nice to relax? Hmm. Let Paimon think. Where are some nice places we could go? Oh, why don't we pay Clam Retainer a visit on Mount Outsong? It's oh, I just realized. We last saw that bird. She's always the one popping up out of nowhere and scaring us half to death. So let's surprise her this time. <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea, Paimon, but you do you, I guess. Yeah, I never realized her, her charge like, actually has gravity to it. And, like, actually goes downwards. Oh, wait, no, it doesn't. Wait, why does it do it here? Yeah, like, goes downwards. Oh, wait, it's probably because I'm facing downwards, huh? Yeah, that's probably it. Alright, yeah, let's go see Animal Bayonetta. <laughs> Dude, yeah, that plunging attack is sick, honestly. Oh, yep, there she is. I see her right there. Hello, Sien Yun. Here we are, right outside her place. <laughs> Who is that? Do you still remember the first time we came here? We even brought offerings and everything. And when we told her that Rex Lapis had been assassinated, she immediately threatened to squash Liyue Harbor. Paimon thought she'd be impossible to get along with. <laughs> but now that we've spent some more time together, she's really not like that at all. Yeah, she just loves to talk about Ganyu's uh, childhood. <laughs> a lot. A lot, a lot. We probably don't need to bring any offerings now that we've gotten to know her pretty well, right? Mm, still, Paimon's got some snacks around here somewhere, so if she really wants something, we can just <laughs> use that. Yeah, we can bring her some good old baguettes uh, <laughs> that we got from Fontaine. I'm sure she'll love that. Huh? Traveler, did something catch your eye? Wow, it's... I don't think we've ever seen her before. Whoa. What a pretty lady. Oh, she, she has Is like she a... Is she also here to visit Cloud Retainer? Is she like talking to the animals? Like the sin, the squirrel, the crane, and the fox? It seems like she could also be a powerful adeptus. Yeah, you're right. All it takes is one oh. look and you can tell she's <laughs> Yeah, all the, all the animals are just surrounding her. <laughs> expected of that bird lady, really. She must have a whole bunch of Adepti friends from all over the country. Yeah, no, she is a bird lady. Okay, but if we're both friends of Cloud Retainer, then we're basically friends by association, right? Want to go up to her and say hello? Who do you? You were such a social butterfly, Paimon. I'll leave the introduction to you. Helping you more connections is a part of Paimon's job as your reliable guide. <laughs> Paimon's got this. And also because Mihoyo refuses to give me a voice. Hello there. <laughs> oh, Hi. shit. Hello. Uh, we kind of scared off all the animals. Mm. Um, <laughs> Paimon is Paimon. And this is the Traveler. <laughs> Paimon, just say everything in a nice, even tone. <laughs> <laughs> May we have the pleasure of learning your name, Madam Adeptus? Oh, my name's also Cloud Retainer. You two... <laughs> what is this tomfoolery? Has a shift in form so clouded your eyes that you no longer recognize one anymore? I mean, you were a bird when we last saw you. <laughs> Wait, you're... Yeah, you're Cloud Retainer. <laughs> huh? Come on, Paimon, do you honestly forget the uh, that I can shapeshift? Oh, donning human form is scarcely any test of one's abilities. <laughs> As to your confusion, one merely had no reason to indulge such inclinations before. So, uh, you're in. Yeah, why are you human form now? now? <laughs> because people liked my design in the previous Lantern Ride and sit for me heavily, so they demanded me to be playable. Well,. One has made plans to pay a visit to some disciples at Liyue Harbor. Oh. Taking on a human form for such a trip is simply a way to make matters less conspicuous. You? Worrying about keeping a low profile? <laughs> You're the one who likes to pop up out of nowhere all over the place. In fact, Paimon can think of several examples. Like last year, when you suddenly appeared on the top of a roof without any warning. Or... <laughs> yeah, she's never been just like 
discreet before. I don't think discreet even exists in our dictionary. <laughs> oh, okay. If he's a collaborator, has a reasons, but doesn't want to discuss them too openly. I almost forgot. Papa brought you some gifts. Hey, didn't we agree not to bring that up unless she asked? <laughs> nah, give him anyway. Oh, so you have taken care to follow the proper rules of etiquette after all. Most commendable. Uh, I have some potato chips. You want them? Um, well, this is all Paimon's guy. You don't mind, right? <laughs> like, Paimon, what'd you give? There's like, there's like a candy. We have a spaghetti that like, that like expired five weeks ago. Uh, we also got a baguette that we got from uh, Farina. Hope, he, hope this is enough. One has never found oneself lacking in basic comforts. On the contrary. It is the gesture that one values above all else. So long as you've shown proper respect and consideration, the quantity or quality of the gift is but a trivial matter. Paimon's brain cells are getting smaller by as more patches in his game passes by. It really does feel like that. It feels like Paimon's becoming stupider as time goes by. <sighs> that kind of makes Paimon feel a little guilty for trying to keep them for herself. Anyway, where were we before you reminded Paimon about the gifts? Uh, Clarvisina said she's going to visit some of her disciples. Ah, right. So by disciples, you must mean Ganyu and Shenha. Yeah, huh? It's also been a while since we last saw them. Maybe we can come too. I got them new outfits. <laughs> One plan to extend the invitation even if you had not raised the matter yourself. Shenha and Ganyu should be quite pleased to see you again. <laughs> However... One would first inquire as to the reason behind your visit here. You have cause to seek one's company? No reason in particular. I just wanted to see you. And plus, your banner's up right now. Yeah, we just found ourselves missing you and wanted to see how you were doing. We were hoping you'd tell us one of your stories. Who knew we'd run into your human form while we were at it? Yeah, tell us more about baby Ganyu. And also, give Ganyu a spear and a sword while you're at it, please. Hmm. Is that so? If there are no urgent matters at hand, then let us make haste for Liyue Harbor. Ganyu is likely still working at Yue High Pavilion, so that shall be our first stop. Sounds great! Then let's all go to Liyue Harbor! Let's -a go! A thousand moonlight miles. Alrighty. <sighs> Ganyu has been quite busy with work as of late. When is she not, <laughs> honestly? <laughs> when is Ganyu not busy with work? to Mount Outsong each year. Shenhe has also secured employment recently. In her correspondence with me, she wrote that she shall have no need to return for the foreseeable future. Damn. Huh. I thought she lived here. I think one was so easily mollified. <laughs> one shall investigate everything with one's own eyes and decide for oneself if their living conditions are satisfactory. Honestly, her skills so so satisfying to use. Alrighty, let's go pay our girls a visit. Uh, all uh, the way back to Lee Bay Harbor. Oh yeah, we're probably gonna see like Madame Ping and whatnot, right? Also, why the fuck is it raining so heavily? <laughs> get me, yeah, get me the hell out of here. Oh yeah, um, I do want to test this. Her passive lets you glide faster. So, how fast would you glide when you stack that with uh this that uh, increases gliding speed by thirty percent? Yeah, let, let's see. Whoa, okay. Oh, okay. Holy shit, that's fast. That's really, really fast. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think Sienna's just got to be on my exploration team from now on. Oh, yeah, that's really, really useful. Way, way faster. On this fine day, <laughs> the view from the <laughs> Yeah, sorry, I want to just take a moment to listen to her. Yeah, her voice acting is oh, already superb. <laughs> One has no intent to fly off and leave you on your own. Also, yes, we have Ganyu. Yeah, there she is. Her V is so eloquent, and, now, and, and we have her now. Yeah, honestly, I wonder. Yeah, is that just a? Th Did they um, what's the word? Yeah, between bird cloud retainer and human cloud retainer, um, are they the same voice actor? Or did the voice actor just change their tone, uh, between their bird form and uh, and for Sienyan? Because honestly, it sounds like a different voice actor, but honestly, like if the voice actor has range, then yeah, I could see it being like one of the same. 
Cause, cause yeah, if it is the same V8, then that's impressive, like, range. We're almost at Way High Pavilion! Uh, hey, do you think Ganyu will be shocked to see Cloud Retainer like this? I mean, Ganyu has lived for, like, what, 3,000 years? So, she's probably seen, like, uh, Human Cloud Retainer at some point, right? Guess we have no idea if Shenha and Ganyu have ever seen her in this form before. Uh, uh, wait, where did she go? What? She's back there. She didn't come with us. Why are you just standing there, Cloud Retainer? Quietly now. One shall stay here. What? You two can go and meet with her. <laughs> You're not gonna go say hi to your kids? Uh, but why? Isn't it better if we all go together? Hmm. If one were to proudly proclaim one's presence, Ganyu would surely profess herself otherwise unoccupied and drop everything to attend to one's visit. One fears that would only result in her staying up all night to make up for lost time. I suppose you do have a point. <laughs> one does not wish to trouble her. Conversing vicariously via you two shall suffice. Do remember to inquire as to her recent well-being. Again, do not mention one's presence here. <laughs> Fair enough. Makes sense. All right, then, we'll just pass on your regards and... <laughs> yes, she honestly gives off, like, heavy, heavy bomb vibes. Cloud retainer? Oh, too late. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, it's not me. Oh, busted. <laughs> Whoops. Is that lady someone you know, Ms. Ganyu? She is indeed. I'm sorry, Huixin. Oh, oh, well. Could we delay shoot. the upcoming meeting for a little bit? I believe my schedule today is quite full. Ah, shoot. <laughs> Although, perhaps I could move some work to later in the evening. Oh, not to worry, Miss Ganyu. I'll make the necessary arrangements right away. Thank you, Huixin. Well, <laughs> I guess we shouldn't have walked out in the open then. Well, <laughs> <But>, uh... <laughs> hey, this is awkward. <laughs> Greetings. What brings you here today? And Cloud Retainer, too. It's been quite some time since I last saw you in this form. You are quite mistaken. <laughs> One is not acquainted with this cloud retainer of whom <laughs> you speak. One is simply a mere mortal passerby. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, I'm not cloud retainer at all. Yeah, cloud retainer does not speak like this, right? Like, she's still using one to describe herself. It's still clearly you. Huh? <laughs> Seems she's not buying it. Gandhi saw right through her. Um, that was but a simple test. <laughs> one did not expect you to be able to recognize one so easily, especially after so many years of only seeing one's other form. Gandhi looks totally bewildered. She's thinking, why would I recognize you? I used to see you every day. How bad do you think my memory is? But recognizing you is, uh, my responsibility as your disciple. <laughs> An apt observation. One was simply passing by while attending to some important business. One thought it would only be fitting to pay you a visit while in the area. Wait, Paima wasn't aware of any important... Oh... Uh, yeah, no, no, yeah, she's not here for anything important, she's just here on a visit. Yeah, yeah. Cloud Retainer's right! We've still got something super important to do, so we can't stay here for too long today. Oh, is that so? But it's been so long since we last saw each other. Aw, oh, it's okay, Gan. You will see each other in the lantern, right? In like five, six days. Uh, one simply desired to see you and had no intention of interrupting your work. A quick conversation should suffice for today. A more involved reunion should wait until you find yourself less occupied. I understand. That should be fine. Aw, oh, she seems so sad. <laughs> While one acknowledges the amount of work that you have to deal with every day, one must also remind you to rest. Take a break, no goddammit. <laughs> don't don't be so overworked. Excessive exhaustion will still cause grave harm to your body. <sighs> it still makes one nostalgic to see you as you are now, respected and independent. When you were young, <laughs> you oft begged one to cuddle you to sleep when you suffered from nightmares. C cloud Retainer! Stop! <laughs> now, now, go on, go on. I want to hear more of Ganyu's childhood stories. If you insist. Damn. We are running <laughs> short on time regardless, so one will refrain from going into each and every story. 
Why don't you continue your conversation? One shall simply stand by and listen. You discussed some of your recent adventures of Ganyu. Yeah, we saved wow. all of Fontaine and Sumeru so and places Mizuma. Since the last time we spoke, if you ever need anything, please just come find me at UI High Pavilion. I would like some more Primo gems to make up for losing me for losing fifty fifty. Also, forgive me for my presumptuousness, Cloud Retainer, but if you plan to continue appearing in this form, don't you think it'd be helpful to adopt a human name? A human name. Huh. Oh. You raise a valid point. Considering the sheer extent of one's renown, Cloud Retainer is surely too recognizable as a name. Oh, so she isn't called Sienyun before, so I'm guessing only now she's being called Sienyun. You really think so? I, not that you're not famous or anything, but that famous? I mean, it would be odd to call a person Cloud Retainer, huh? <laughs> You presume to know the extent of one's <laughs> illustrious achievements. One would hardly think such a thing to be possible. <sighs> Nevertheless, Ganyu's advice cannot be ignored. From this point on, when in public occasions, be sure to refer to one as Shenyun. Shenyun? Shenyun, alrighty. <laughs> uh, I assume that's a reference to the full record of Pristine Pavilion. An adeptus of years past oh. would rise with the clouds and rest with the moon. They were enlightened and wise, free and unfettered. The writer referenced Master's name to describe her carefree and spontaneous nature. Oh, that sounds super cool! Paimon feels like only the most powerful of adepti could rise with the clouds and rest with the moon. Actually, those lines were originally written to describe Cloud oh. Retainer herself. Okay, never mind then. Huh? Wait, so you're really that powerful? So, okay, wow. <laughs> then, yeah, I guess that, that is very fitting for your human name. <laughs> and what of it? Did you truly take one to be nothing more than a bird of bigger than average size? I mean, yeah, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Not exactly. Uh, Paimon looked away in embarrassment. That's <laughs> totally what Paimon had in mind. <laughs> to be fair, Cloud Retainer rarely speaks of her past accomplishments. The tales of her past can only be found in ancient texts. It is said that once, a long, long time ago, there was a severe drought in Liyue. Oh. Left with no choice, many people left their homes, while others spent day and night praying to the Adepti. Although I did not live through such tragedy, simply reading about it is enough to gain a visceral understanding of all the pain and desperation during that time. Yeah, it would be interesting for her to visit Fontaine. She's just like, what are all these inventions? You have robots just roaming about? You have freaking elevators? And machinery and everything? Like, yeah, I would I would honestly pay good money to see CN and go over to, to, to Fontaine. On top of the drought, a noxious gas also began to spread through the land. If not for Cloud Retainer's efforts, much of Liyue would be nothing more than a barren wasteland today. The books had this to say about what happened. Upon arrival, the Adeptus borrowed the wind to retain the clouds. Immediately, the clouds gathered together, and abundant rain burst forth from the heavens. Oh. Drought and plague were both driven away, and the people were saved. So Sienna just has the ability to like, just what, make it rain? Oh, that's incredible! Mortal records add embellishments to dramatize past events. One did merely what one ought, and even if one had not interceded, the other adept I would surely have stepped in to help. Even so, you stopped an entire drought! Can you really control the weather like the book said? And yeah, I, and I thought that was only the power of... Like, yeah, I thought only the, like, Archons could, could do that, but I guess the yeah, adept also had that power too. Oh, Paimon suddenly has a lot more respect for you. <laughs> uh, so it was Paimon's bad for calling you Illuminated Bird before. You're not... Too mad, are you? Oh, how laughable. A name is but a simple label we carry with us on our journey through the world. Why would one be offended by such a trivial matter? <laughs> That's a relief. In that case, Paima will continue to call you whatever feels right in the moment. Yeah, CN and Cloud Retainer, whatever. It's just whatever works. Well, that is quite enough ancient history for now. Ganyu, have you had word from Shenhe? One has heard that she procured a job recently. Have you any thoughts on her workplace? 
And what, pray tell, of her monthly remuneration? Moreover, does she find herself overly inundated with work? <laughs> is she does overworked she too? To lantern right? That is a lot of questions. This <laughs> is just like a mom would, she would ask. There is no cause for concern, Cloud Retainer. I introduced Shenha to her employer personally. One Min Restaurant's business has been booming oh. recently. So with Chef Mao being swamped with customers, and Shangling still often out in search of new recipes, I introduced Shenha to staff the restaurant. Oh, so she works for, for Xiangling now, okay. I see. Most excellent indeed. One has had the pleasure of being introduced to that family. Xiangling is kind and astute. And also Madame Ping's disciple. And reliable. <laughs> One has no cause to believe that they will make Shenha's work difficult. <sighs> now, it is almost time to partake in the vittles of noon. One shall visit Wanmin Restaurant in person and see how Shenha is doing. Huh? But didn't you just say that you had something important to do? <laughs> I lied. Uh, can that wait until after we've eaten? You may return to your work on you. One shall see to this matter on one's own. There will be many an occasion to dine together in the future. One is certain the opportunity shall present itself most readily. <laughs> You're doing lantern right. Of course, Cloud Retainer. Please take care. Traveler, Paimon, I'll see you some other time. See you around, Ganyu! Bye! <sighs> Paimon was pretty quick on the uptake there, don't you think? <sighs> as soon Maybe. as you mentioned important business to attend to, Paimon realized that you were just looking to cut the conversation short. And not take too much of Ganyu's time! Is Paimon right? No, in fact, it was not an excuse. One is indeed visiting Liyue Harbor for an important purpose. Yeah, seeing it all he also does Korea? give off like Asian mom vibes, the yeah. The moment is not yet upon us. Still, the truth will be revealed to you in time. Hmm. Alrighty. <sighs> she really seems to be playing up the whole mysterious adeptus thing right now. Is it because we just heard that cool story about her powers? Maybe. <laughs> Who knows? Hmm. Also, um, here, wait. Before I proceed forward, I want to see if, uh, I can actually go back and talk to Gandhi there. Or maybe she's gone. Okay, yeah, she's not there anymore. Never mind then. Alright, to one main restaurant we go. Actually, we can just CP there, right? Yeah. Yeah, she <laughs> definitely Asian mom. She just like asked like 20 questions at a time. Yeah, okay, yeah, there she is. <laughs> Hi. Can, can, can I take your order? <laughs> does, yeah, does Shadow know how to cook? You get what I'm saying, right? <laughs> and do we have a bunch of Shenha simps in game as well? <laughs> yeah, how can I not? Not even fine food is enough to distract from the presence of a fine lady, eh? <laughs> okay, guys, stop simping. Oh, I'm far more interested in getting her details than ordering any dishes. Hey, how about you ask her? Oh my god, how are you gonna ask her out? <laughs> you do it! No, no, no. I think you should. Wait, she's coming. What can I get for you today? Uh, greetings, miss. Uh, I was just wondering uh, if you'd be... No, God. To... <laughs> Don't ask anything too brash now or she'll beat the shit out of you. What would you like to order? Oh, <laughs> oh, God. oh God. <laughs> yeah, do not piss Shenna off too much now. She's going to fucking kill you. Uh, two servings of more meat to go. Uh, good chat. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Just the way they ran off. Hi, Shenha. We're back. Welcome. It's been a while. May I take your order? Don't welcome us as guests and greet us as old friends in the same line. It's weird. <laughs> it's been a while, Shenha. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, I guess she's still trying to be prof uh, professional, I see. Oh, and this is? Oh, does she not recognize... Yeah, has she not seen uh, the the human form yet? Uh, this is Miss Xinyun. Master? Oh, <laughs> yeah, never mind. Huh? <laughs> How do you know? Huh. One does not recall ever revealing this form to you before. How were you able to ascertain one's true identity with such ease? Okay, I guess Shen has never seen uh Clavitanus human form then. Huh. <laughs> I've trained and lived with Master for more than 10 years. I would recognize you no matter what form you take. 
Hmm. You. <laughs> I'm so proud. <laughs> she just starts crying on the spot. <laughs> Is something the matter, Master? I am so proud of you, my girl. <gasps> hardly. Hardly. One simply learned of your employment from your letter and came to check on your well-being. <laughs> and check out the great food, too! Indeed. It's almost lunchtime. My apologies. I'm still on the clock and can't talk for very long. <laughs> well, if it isn't the Traveler and Paimon. Are you here for Shenha? The lunch rush isn't in yet, Shenha. So, I've got things covered for now. Go ahead, sit down and enjoy some time with your friends. I'll let you know if things pick up. Thank you, Chef Mao. Has Chef Mao's voice changed? I honestly don't remember him being that high, that high pitched. I don't know. Well, actually, it's probably been a while since we heard his voice, eh? So maybe it's the same for all I know. All right, let's eat. <laughs> Sit and chat with the gang. Skyward, scatter. All right, let's jump to our seats. Just, just fly all the way back here. It is just as one expected. The owner of Wanmin Restaurant is indeed a most reasonable and accommodating human. Thank goodness, we don't need another Overworks character. <laughs> Still, the work here entails dealing with quite a varied group of people. Has this been difficult for you, Shenhe? Not really. Most people that try to fuck the business are scared off anyways. It's been manageable so far. I sometimes run into strange people, but I have figured out a way to deal with them. Seems like you've been making progress. So by dealing <laughs> with them, you mean... Yes, I mean by dumping their bodies in the sewer, where they're never seen again. <laughs> First, I try to talk sense into them. If that doesn't work, I threaten them with violence. Yep. At this point, they usually <laughs> decide they are in favor of a civil conversation. Uh, I, um... I don't think, uh... That's, uh... The best way to go about things, but you do you, Shenha. Oh, uh, how should Paimon put this? Sounds reasonable enough. Oh, a sensible plan. <laughs> One is gladdened to see you integrate so well into human society. Are, are you sure that's a good that's a good plan? And you, Master, how have you been? Simply marvelous. Though Mount Outsong has scarcely enjoyed your presence recently. One has hardly found the pleasure of one's own company to be lacking. I see. Oh, just as expected of Master. <laughs> Wait, is, is Sienjin lonely now because both her daughters are like, have left for like college? <laughs> what what Leeway City? <laughs> but yeah, that's that's a vibe I'm getting from this. It's just like, like yeah, the mom's just all at home, all at uh, home alone <laughs> with her two daughters sent off to college. And now she just at, at home just has nothing to do and has no company. <laughs> What she means to say is that she actually misses the two of you a lot. I have missed Master quite a bit too. Aww. <laughs> Even though work has been busy lately, I've already had a conversation with Chef Mao about taking some time off soon to visit Master. Oh, you did? <laughs> <clears throat> Do make note of such matters in your letters in the future. There's hardly a need to keep one in suspense. <laughs> That's the face of a proud mother right there. <laughs> Whoa. Her mood shot up just like that. <laughs> By the way, Master, since you are in Liyue Harbor, have you had the chance to visit Ganyu? Uh, yeah, we did. Just just now, actually. <laughs> Indeed. She is similarly preoccupied with her work. There was time only to exchange a few simple pleasantries. Ganyu told us the story of Cloud Retainer's name. It was amazing. We never knew how powerful she was before. I see. In that case, allow me to also share a story about Master's past. Oh boy, okay. Okay, so instead of us learning about their past, now her, now the daughters are teaching us about the mother's past. Oh? Is that a problem, Master? I believe this to be a good topic of conversation. This is also payback for you <laughs> telling them about my baby stories all those years ago. No, not a problem. One was simply caught off guard. But no matter, please proceed. One is most curious to see how much of one's own conversational prowess you possess. Master once participated in a race against Mooncarver. Oh. After Mooncarver lost, he insisted that Master's ability to fly gave her a natural edge in such a contest. Well, duh, she's a bird and you're a deer. <laughs> how do you expect... 
How do you expect to win in that kind of race? In response, Master agreed to forego flying in return for being able to use one of her devices in the race. Mooncarver accepted, only to find Master with a brand new device on the day of the contest. Oh boy. Huh, what kind of device was it? A <laughs> wing glider. <laughs> it was a mechanical vehicle made out of iron. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> what was it called again? Oh, an electro-powered bicycle? She made a whole ass bicycle to fucking race against Mooncarver. Oh, you refer to the bicyclical Thunder Flashmobile. What the one spent four That's a way more complicated name. I'm not saying that. Crafting it. It need only be infused with adeptal energy, and it can cover thousands of miles in one day. Can I have one? <laughs> we'll make we'll make uh, traversing to that a lot easier, honestly. Oh, it boggles the mind why Mooncarver ever supposed he might best me in a contest of locomotion. Though he sprinted with all his might, <laughs> he could barely keep up. Sorry, I'm just I'm just picturing fucking Cloud Retainer in human form just riding a bicycle and somehow outspeeding a goddamn deer. <laughs> it's just what? <laughs> That's just funny the picture. <sighs> Alas, the one flaw of my mechanism lay in its weakness against mountainous terrain. One was thwarted mere seconds from victory, when it was thrown off course and failed to make it across the final stretch. Oh. Truly a most unfortunate turn of events. Anyway, do go on, Shenha. And that's and that's when I made a flying <laughs> flying bicycle instead. As someone who's in the service industry, one must have patience when dealing with customers. It's taxing. Oh yeah, it it truly does seem like a taxing job just having to deal with like all sorts of customers per day, <laughs> including the very very uh rude ones to say the least. Master, that was the end of that story. <laughs> oh, I thought you had more to say about me. <laughs> Damn. But yeah, as someone who's worked like in a, uh, I haven't worked in like a food industry business, but I've worked at like supermarkets and whatnot. And yes, dealing with some of the customers there can be a bit tricky sometimes. I think I had like one customer who was like, like yeah, super super impatient and just, yeah, I just didn't, I just never talked to them at all. I just kind of just scanned his things and just took his cash and just yeah, just uh. Yeah, try to get him out of there as quickly as possible. It, it, it was a really horrible experience. Is that so? Huh. With you gone, one has seldom felt the desire to call upon those old fossils for another contest. <laughs> what is a race without spectators, after all? Have you been lonely, Master? <laughs> hey, are you? Lonely? Huh. At one's age, entire human generations come and go in the blink of an eye. Even one's own self-directed musings can span several days and nights. Tis a most foreign sentiment. The mere mention of it is preposterous. Mm-hmm. <laughs> can I take that as a yes? <laughs> what is the reason for that look upon your face? <laughs> hey, nothing. It's nothing. It's nope. Just... <laughs> well, Paimon gained a lot of respect for you after listening to that story of you summoning the rain and everything. But all it took was a few words out of your mouth, and it's like you're back to being that illuminated bird again. <laughs> I was just a little bit confused. Which one of the two is the real cloud retainer? To me, they are both master. One is the master that's widely revered by the people, while the other is the master that I respect and adore. Huh. One finds oneself exalted yet again with sweet words of praise and flattery <laughs> of a most extravagant nature. You chose to exalt one with your words, yet you refuse to grace Mount Outsong with your presence for any extended period of time. One would almost question the sincerity of your estimations. This is not to say that your words paint an inaccurate picture. One has always lived by a single ideal. Eschew all action and abide by no rule. One does as one pleases and speaks as one pleases. Others may critique or praise <laughs> as they see fit. Yet one places little weight in such judgments. She got like, what, two sentences of flattery from yeah, her Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Her ego is about to burst. It's just, she's just like, yeah, keep the praise coming, please. Do you have any empty tables? Oh, well, not, nope. Well, I guess that's our cues for for Chenna to come to, to hey come there, into play. Could we get another fish stew? Oh, yep, Chenna, you need it. 
I'm hearing more guests come in. I should get back to work. All right, good luck with the lunchtime rush, huh? Mm-hmm. I'll try my best. <laughs> Don't beat the shit out too many people now. As more guests begin to trickle in, uh, Chenna goes ahead and kills a man. So much yummy food! Paimon's gonna feast! Holy shit, that does look good, actually. Uh, do you eat this kind of food, Cloud Retainer? Uh, it's just food to your taste, Cloud Retainer. One is fond of all kinds of delicacies and delights in a multitude of flavors. The dishes here demonstrate no shortage of culinary skill. Their unique flavor profile has left one more than satisfied. In fact, one has been struck by quite the fit of inspiration. <laughs> one has already I, 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 begun I do to like that she always refers to herself as one. <laughs> of supreme cuisine machines. Everything's so tasty. A bit too hot at times, but still super tasty. I'm sorry, miss, but our tables are full. Shall we try somewhere else, Granny? But it smells so delightful. Can we really not eat here? My poor legs can't go on for much longer. Well, well, I guess that's our cue to leave, then. Well, you could always check with some of the other guests and see if anyone's happy to share a table. Okay, uh, I'll ask around. Oh, <laughs> and it's so convenient that we have two empty chairs right here, don't we? Excuse me, would you mind letting us share a table with you? There are no empty tables left, so... Yeah, dude, what kind of restaurant is this? Why is there only, like, three tables here? That just seems like a very, very tiny amount for, like, a... Yeah, <laughs> for a restaurant. Ah, well, Paimon doesn't mind. What about you guys? I don't mind, as long as you don't mind our chatter. Great! Thanks so much. My name is Shuyu, and this is my granny, Yuendai. Okay, <laughs> I get the feeling these NPCs are gonna be important to this quest. Granny? Yep. Is there something wrong with that? No, no, Paimon's just a bit surprised. She looks so young. Actually, yeah, she's not using like the old lady models that, um, like, yeah, Genshin already has. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people compliment Granny on her youthful looks, but she's actually much older than she appears. <sighs> <laughs> What's up? <laughs> yeah, why are you staring at each other like that? Hmm. Granny, why don't you take a seat? Come on, it's not polite to stare. Does she recognize her in some way? Huh. Have we met before? No. Hmm. Just a faded meeting then. Please, take a seat. What would you like to eat, Granny? I can order for you. I want braised earthworms. The fuck? They always pop up out of the ground after a rainstorm. Uh... I don't think that's on the menu. What the fuck? Braised earthworms? What the shit? Don't tell me you're an adept eye too, and you have like <laughs> dementia or something. No, no, not this again, Granny. There's no braised earthworms on the menu. <laughs> yeah, that that just sounds fucking disgusting, actually. Braised earthworms? Well, that sounds weird. Do people actually eat that? Can't hurt to ask. Right, that's what Paimon was thinking, too. I... need any help? Help? Oh, do you mean with Granny? Thanks, that's nice of you to offer. Oh, she, she does have dementia. dementia so her memory's Damn. Getting worse all the time. She's always saying things that sound kind of confusing. Yeah, dementia sucks, actually. Eh. Actually, her memory's been bad ever since I was little. But it's gotten so bad lately that I even have to remind her who I am every morning. Yeah. I've heard stories about people like having like parents with dementia. It's honestly sad that they're just yeah. They that they can't even remember their own children sometimes. Yeah, dementia fucking sucks. Uh what about your parents? They died young. Damn. It's just me and Granny now. Oh. Um Ugh. Sad sad stuff already off the bat, I see. Uh, but it's okay. Don't feel bad. Granny loves me a lot. And I love her a lot, too. Sure, it's hard at times, but you just gotta make the best of the life you've got. Wow. You're really tough for your age, kid. <laughs> You're too kind. And me? Oh, what about me? Uh... You're tough, too, Granny. Plus, you're really gentle. And you're always there for me. 
and you might be an adeptus in human form and you're just unable to change back. I'm calling that right now. I, I think that's like the twist of this. Because they wouldn't introduce these two random NPCs just for no reason. You have the feeling Granny here is an adeptus that just forgot who she was. I think. Because, yeah, Brace Earthworms, that would make sense for like the, a bird adeptus. Yes, and it's hardly as if I forget everything. I still remember the important things. Hmm. Uh, wait, what was that really important thing again? That you were an, ad an adeptus, maybe? Ah, I remember now. Oh, it was a dream. A dream? I had a dream where everything was dark. Someone was standing in front of me. She told me to come and find her, and that once I'd found her, I would be free. Huh? That sounds super important. Hmm. But how come you've never told me about it before? Would be free? Free from what, though? Hmm. Oh god, oh god. <laughs> I just noticed the, end, the fucking NPC in the background. What the hell? Is her cheeks just hanging out there? Like... Holy shit. <laughs> I just, yeah, what the hell's up with that NPC? <laughs> yeah, let's just get off the screen before it gets it monetized. Just a dream, so I forgot about it. But I'm in a good mood now, and somehow I remembered it again. Ah, <laughs> oh, you know, I believe I've had this dream a great many times. But just how many times have I had it? Hmm. Now that I do not remember. Wait, so you have a reoccurring dream where someone's talking to you? That sounds spooky. <gasps> Does that mean you're possessed? <laughs> Don't say that just so casually. Unlikely. Her eyes are clear and her breathing remains calm and level. One sees no signs of possession. Are you sure? I mean, she's like what? Older than Ganyu, more than 3,000 years old, so pretty sure she knows what she's talking about. Who do you take me for? <laughs> Is one not an adept? Is, hmm. Am I not an expert? <laughs> you almost slipped there. Huh, you're right. Paimon almost forgot you're the expert. The expert, <laughs> yeah. Do you still remember what the person in your dreams looked like, Granny? Not anymore. Although, I have a sense that she looked rather like me but not as i am now my younger self she looks like your younger self hmm <laughs> a younger version of granny wouldn't that be your kid your daughter this is just getting weirder and weirder what is going on here honestly yeah what the hell is going on <laughs> as one said fate must have brought us together you may leave this situation to me are you sure? Um, so, what are your names? Paimon's Paimon. I'm Space Edge. Shen Yun is fine. Thank you all so much for offering to help. But first, I'm sorry for asking, but, um, how do you want us to pay you back? Money. Oh, we don't <laughs> mean in payment for this. Now nah, well, I like some money. <laughs> Just curious about your situation and wants help if we can. Uh, Actually, Primo gems. I, I need Primo, so I need to restock after losing 50 50. You're welcome! Um, but Miss Yun, what exactly can we do to help out this granny? All we have to go off is that dream! Where do we start? That is elementary. Since her <laughs> elementary, my dear. Her younger self, then we shall retrace the steps of her youth. Once we have revisited those places, her memories will likely return. Really now? Is, e is it that easy to solve dementia? <laughs> Plan. So, Granny, do you remember which places you went to when you were young? Why, of course I do. The heavens above, the earth below, the wispy clouds, and the emerald mountain streams. Yeah, I, I, I'm, the more she talks, the more I think she is an adeptus who just who's in human form, but forgot that that they're an adeptus. No, I might have an idea. Oh. Once when I was really Spill little, it, my dad told me that Granny used to be a martial artist heroine who saved lots of people from a disaster. If it's true, then maybe they wrote about it in the history books or something. A martial arts heroine? Hmm. Oh, 
Shinto knows tons about Liwa's chivalric traditions. Huh. If anyone knows about the heroes of the past, it's him. Let's go find him at the Feiyun Commerce Guild. I just realized if we're gonna talk to Sing Chiu, we pretty much interacted with all the characters are gonna get a new skin <laughs> in the lantern, right? Are you leaving already? But I'm still hungry. Uh, you can have our, our leftovers. I'll go order some food, Granny. If there's nothing on the menu you especially want, I'll just get a few different things. It seems we must part ways for now. The Traveler and Paimon are bound for the Feiyun Commerce Guild, oh. while you and I and Shuyu shall remain here and partake of their lunch. As for myself, I have matters to discuss with Streetward Rambler. Oh, we gotta go talk to good old Ping. Streetward Rambler? Oh, you mean Madam Ping! Precisely. Let us meet at Yujing Terrace once you are ready. Alrighty. Hmm. Yeah, I just have the feeling this Yuan Dai here is an, it's an adeptus. Just with Edmusia. Where are you going, Granny? Don't you like the food? Fresh milk. Uh, I need to buy you some fresh milk. <laughs> what the fuck? Milk? Why? You need to drink milk before eating, or the spicy food will make you cry. Hush, little one. Don't cry. <laughs> Granny, you're forgetting things again. I'm not a little baby anymore. I can eat spicy food now. Even the super spicy dishes, like their fish stew. I can eat two whole bowls, no problem. Wonderful. Oh, hmm. wonderful. My darling granddaughter is all grown up. Yeah, this uh, honestly, this mystery is like intriguing me, honestly. Like, yeah, who is this granny? Yeah. Like, at first I thought, like, yeah, she might be an adeptus that has amnesia or dementia, but now I'm not so sure no more. Alright, well, I guess we'll, let's go see our boy Sing Cho. And see what he has to say. He, yeah, since, since Sing Cho's here, we pretty much interacted with everybody that, that's getting a new skin in this update. Alright, Sing Cho, where's your Farina cosplay? It's you two. What brings you here? Shincho! Great, we found you! We wanted to ask you about something. You're playing a situation, Shincho. Wow, <laughs> not even a hi or a nice to see you again. Mm. Just, hey, we have something to ask you. That's not a whole lot of information to go off of. I don't know if I can say for sure. Well, that's fine. Anything is helpful and appreciated. I can't pinpoint her identity from your description alone. But considering her age... I am reminded of a nameless heroine who's been featured in various chivalric novels. Oh. Nameless heroine? That's right. The novels often speak of a great drought from 50 years ago. Oh. As the people suffered, <laughs> a You're nameless about heroine appeared and began to clear away evil spirits and bandit camps. The people idolized her, but never learned her name. Yeah, I really wonder who that reminds us of. <laughs> All they knew was that she always acted alone. Later, though, she supposedly fell oh, in fuck? love with a similarly noble-minded exorcist from Mount Tianhang. They were well-matched in more ways than one, often fighting together as a fearsome duo of otherworldly strength. Is Madam... wait, is Clavitator married? The hell? After the drought ended, the heroine and the exorcist left the public eye and began living a reclusive life in the mountains. All that remained were tales of her incredible accomplishments. Huh. The way this nameless heroine faded from fame into obscurity later in life is not too dissimilar from Miss Yuendai. I hope that's somewhat helpful. Thanks a lot, Xingqiu. We knew it'd be worth talking to you. It's nothing at all. Just something I came across while reading. I did do a bit of extra research on her story, but it was just out of personal curiosity. Well, Paimon still thinks that's super cool. Oh, wait, Xingqiu. If you've read up on her, do you know of any places often associated with her? Let me think. In the novels, the nameless heroine always appeared near one of three places. Huh. <laughs> Wangshu Inn, the area just north of Jue Yun Karst, and Ching Yun Peak. Coincidentally, none of them has to do with Chen Yuvio, so thank god I don't have to go, like, looking for the quest. <laughs> Perhaps the real-life heroine who inspired the character was also often seen near those three places. That would explain why those locations appear in the various novels written about her. 
Thanks so much, Saint Joe. You're a big help. <laughs> You're welcome. To be honest, I found some parts of the story confusing when I first came across it. If Miss Uendai was indeed the original inspiration for the character, she may just be able to help me put the pieces together. It's rare for a chivalric hero to fade into obscurity during their lifetime, even after retiring from the public eye. But no one ever saw or heard from the nameless heroine again. Hmm. There were even rumors that she became extremely ill. Okay, then... Hmm. Yeah, maybe this nameless heroine is, uh, the granny, then. I've never understood why someone would go to such lengths to erase themselves from public memory. It's almost as if she was trying to hide from something. There's probably far more to the story than what's been written. Uh -huh. We'll be sure to tell you if we manage to uncover the truth. That's a deal. Perhaps, behind the truth of it all, there lies a story more fantastical than any work of fiction. Paimon feels like we just learned so much from Shincho. A drought, a nameless heroine, a life of seclusion. Uh, wait, why does the story sound super familiar? <laughs> because Clavis here literally told us that like 10 minutes ago. Like, come on, Paimon, pay attention. Oh, right. There's a drought in this story, too. Um, Shincho, are droughts super common in Liyue or something? Well, they used to be. But people have long since developed methods to prevent them. Like by cultivating the soil or digging canals. Okay, so maybe this is not the same drought that uh, Clavis here solved. So while droughts do happen from time to time... They are rarely regarded as true disasters. The drought 50 years ago is probably one of the worst we've had in the last several centuries. The crops withered, the streams ran dry, and the monsters in the mountains became rabid and agitated. Countless caravans were attacked, hmm. and people who lost their homes came together to form bandit groups. What started as a natural disaster soon became a human tragedy as well. That sounds awful. Yeah, and that's exactly why the nameless heroine was so beloved. She must have been someone of true integrity to do so much for the people while asking nothing in return. Still, as terrible as that drought was, it was nothing compared to the truly calamitous disasters that befell this land in ancient times. It's <laughs> in modern times too, because we literally got attacked by two fucking sea gods. They say that back in those days, Disasters were both more severe and more common. Only the strongest of Adepti could hope to dispel the ruin and devastation. Do you have any other questions? We're good for now. We're just going to head back and meet up with Miss Yunyun and the others again. Paimon hopes that Granny Yuendai will be able to remember more of her past. She used to be a great hero who saved many people. So sad that she can't recall any of it. Anyway, we'll be hmm. off now. Is that really the, the case, though? Time, Thank you so much for your help. It's no problem at all. Safe travels. Yeah, so it seems like the two of them just coincidentally both saved Liyue from droughts. Or is it? <laughs> just, just, yeah, put, cue the Vsauce intro. But yeah, uh, hmm. I wonder, yeah, I really, really do wonder if that's the case. Again, there's still so much we don't know, so I, I'm just gonna continue forward and see where it goes from here, but... Yeah, I still think uh, Granny here is, uh, is an adept eye. <laughs> Although, I'm, be I'm becoming less and less confident with that theory the now. That you requested. I hope it will be of help to you. Uh, what the heck? Oh, thank you. Is that a jade disc or something? Like, it's in hell? <laughs> <laughs> well, here's a reunion for the ages. Straight word for... Ping. What has amused you so? Oh, it's no serious matter. I was just reminiscing about the last time I saw you in this form. <laughs> time has wrought such change in this world. And yet, you appear just the same as ever. I wonder when was the last time... Was it... Yeah, was the last time she appeared in human form was... What, around the death of Guizhong? Like, nearing that time? Maybe? Time has little bearing on one's existence, nor has one keenly felt its effects whilst dwelling at Mount Outsong. Nevertheless, Ping, one would like to seek your counsel on a personal matter. Oh, why so formal all of a sudden? <laughs> I must say, you're making me a little nervous. What is it? 
Well, the inquiry is as such. A approximately how much more would one need to afford a comfortable life in the harbor? <laughs> Not unlike the one that you yourself lead. <laughs> she wants to move here, doesn't she? Yeah, she wants to move here just so she can keep an eye on Ganyu and Shanna. <laughs> It does not require as much as you may think. Still, do you mean that... Cloud Retainer, Madame Pim! Uh, what are you two talking about? <clears throat> Nothing save for some trivial matters. <laughs> trivial matters, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Have you sure. any useful details? Shinto has a theory, but let's save it for when Chu Yu and Miss Yu and I have joined up with us again. Uh, Shin, uh, Shu Yu and Yu Dai are soon arrived scene. Pama released Shin Cho's theory. <laughs> Hmm. Do not be troubled, young lady. Here, have some tea. <laughs> tea makes everything better. According to Risley. Uh, thank you so much. What do you think, Shuyu? Does it match up with what you know of your granny? Huh. According to the story, the oh. nameless heroine hey, eventually granny, fell where in love going? with an exorcist from Mount Tianhung. Maybe... That's my grandpa. Hmm. I don't have many memories of him. But there is this one time I found a box in our attic full of a bunch of weird sigils. Seems like the stories were on the right track. We should probably pay a visit to these three places mentioned in the books. I think so too. Granny might remember something when she's returned to a familiar place. What marvelous tea. I can taste the dew's sweetness in this cup. It's as if I was taking a stroll in the mountains. Thoroughly one with nature and at peace. Is that so? Then please drink as much as you like. There's no need to hurry. At our age, it's always nice to slow down and take the time to appreciate pleasant conversation among friends. Thank you. <laughs> At our age. <laughs> Meanwhile, Madam Pink's like, what, 5,000? <laughs> and she's old for all we know. Well, let's rest here for a little while then. Okay, since we have the time, can I ask you something? Sure thing. What would you like to know? Um, I have a secret I want to tell you. Nope. Well, let's go talk over there. Okay. Hmm. You can taste the sweetness of the dew? It's just a feeling. The sensation of stepping out into the mountains on a cool morning, gazing upon the small droplets of water hanging from the leaves. And feeling the sweet stream of water soothe a parched throat with every swallow. It's a sense of calm and serenity. One that stretches on and on until days mm. become weeks, weeks become years. Yeah, if you're not an adeptus, I feel like there's something related to the adepti about like this lady. Like, there's no way the Adepti are not involved in whatever shit she's going through. Also, wh where'd Cloud Retainer go? Hello? Or, or is she with us? Yeah, maybe she's with us and we're gonna go, like, talk to, uh... Yeah, the girl about it, I guess. Alrighty. Yeah, yeah, she's with us. Well, I've been kind of meaning to ask ever since we started talking in the restaurant. Uh. But are you guys all adepti in disguise? Well, I'm not, but cut games. Sienyan is just horrible at keeping her identity, I guess. <laughs> Why does everybody just know? Oh! Uh, about that. <laughs> Why do you say that? Well, you guys just seem super special. Plus. I think I might have heard Miss Shen Yun call herself an adeptus. Uh, when? <laughs> oh, must have been a slip of the tongue. Shen Yun, since you were the one who, uh, misspoke, maybe you can explain to Shu Yu here what you really meant by that. Uh, yeah, we'll leave this to you, buddy. <laughs> one is indeed an adeptus. Oh, okay. Is that of some concern to okay, you? Okay, I thought she would just straight up deny it. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Oh, she, you're just flat out admitting? All right. I knew it. You don't sound surprised at all. Well, one time when I was a little kid, I saw a pure white illuminated crane. Oh. I had this super high fever, and Granny wasn't around. 
I was feeling all icky and gross. But then this snowy white crane flew down from the sky. She put me on her back and flew to her cool Adeptus house and fed me some sort of magic potion. When I woke up, I was already back in my bed and my fever was gone. How long ago was this? I really wanted to thank her, but I was too sleepy to stay awake, so I never got the chance. So, I just kind of wanted to ask if maybe any of you have ever met an Adeptus like that? Uh, yeah, you're looking right at her. A pure white illuminated crane? The only two we've ever met are blue and white and black and brown. Oh, yeah, p okay, pure white. Okay, so that's not Cloud Retainer, then. Have you ever met one that's pure white, Cloud Retainer? Call her right now, that's her granny. <laughs> hmm. Never has one met an Adeptus with such features. One surmise is Yeah, I thought pure white was referring to her, but I guess it's not. ...embellishment that oft results from narrative accounts. That's weird. Was it really just a dream, then? Not nah, your granny. She's an Adeptus. <laughs> I'm, I'm sticking with that theory to the very end, until I'm proven wrong. <laughs> Even if it was just in my head, it doesn't matter that much anyway. All I really want is to help Granny recover her memories. I'm really grateful for all your help. Leave it to us! Now that we know the three locations, we just need to visit them one by one! Let's go to Wang Shu Inn first! Okay, and hopefully... I'll go get Granny. <laughs> yeah, let's hopefully uh, run to Xiao along the way too. Maybe she, maybe he can give us something. Hmm. Yeah, I, I'm just... Like, if the twist is, like, the... Like, yeah, the cheat that the granny said, that just, they're kind of, like, making it super, super obvious, honestly. <laughs> I'd be surprised if that's not the case. Alrighty, Madam Ping, you have uh, anything to say? Leaving already? Well, just remember that you can come over for a cup of tea anytime. Okay, okay. I'll come back when you hit the banners. <laughs> when you when you get your young version of yourself, and then we'll see you again in like the next lanterite or something. Okay, to Wang Shu in away. Wang Shu in. Wang Shu in. Yeah, I wonder if we'll run into Xiao and he'll like say something about uh, Cloud Retainer too. <laughs> kind of hoping that's the case. Remember this place, Granny? Yes. The fish here is very delicious. And if you look out into the distance, you can always spot a bird that's been left behind by its flock. I believe I used to have a room here. Hmm. It had a window. Yes. Yes, I spent a lot of time looking out that window. Which room was it again? Uh, let me look. I'll come with. Hey, Xiao, get your ass out of here. <laughs> Where I'm are you? I'm having some trouble understanding what she's talking about, but if she's so familiar with this place, that must mean she lived here, right? Wait. Huh? Uh? Hi! <laughs> Where'd you come from? Hi, boy. He sensed a non-human presence and decided to come take a look. Oh, so she is non-human. Okay, yeah, she's an adept eye. She's an adept eye. Also, hi, Xiao. It's been a while. If you're here, then there's likely no trouble afoot. I suppose there's no cause for concern. Have you been, buddy? It's been a while, Cloud Retainer. I see you have returned to your previous form. You've met her in this form before? I have indeed. I fought alongside oh. her in this form on many occasions during the Archon War. Ooh. I really do want to know more about the Archon War. Like, that's the one as like aspect of Genshin that that's like the most interesting, honestly. Yet we barely touch on it. Like I think the the closest thing we ever knew about the Archon War was from from Leeway. Yeah, I, cause because for Fontaine and Sumeru. Their Archons that, that were in the Archon War are dead now. So yeah, pretty, pretty much we only have leeway to go off of with the Archon War. And yeah, then again, Inuzuma doesn't give us much about the Archon War, like, at all. We know that Makoto died during the Kanria disaster, but that's it. 
nothing about the Arkham War, really. I mean, I guess some there's there's some bits and pieces of lore to about the Arkham War in Inazuma, but yeah, I think the most amount of Arkham War lore we got is uh is in Leiwe. Yeah, they they really need to like I don't know like flesh the Arkham War out a bit more because honestly, I'm very interested in that. <laughs> the way Sienna is just staring at Pyma, just like this little shit. <laughs> what the fuck? The glory what the fuck? <laughs> the bang bang continuous fire mechanism. Hands <laughs> up and surrender, or be prepared to face the full might of the Adepti. <laughs> <laughs> An impressive imitation. <laughs> Wait, she was spot on? <laughs> Pyma knows her all too well. Okay, he <laughs> never That was funny. Even so, Cloud Retainer was not always as ostentatious as you describe. You may be unaware, but her talent with Adepti Sigils is just as formidable as her skill in mechanics. Yeah, I thought Shao would just be like, yeah, nah, that she was nothing like that. Just Shao's actually impressed. <laughs> like, what the fuck? The Archon War reached its peak after Gui Zhang's death. Ah. Uh. The cloud retainer who fought beside me in those devastating battles was taciturn and solemn, only speaking when she had to activate her sigils. A cloud retainer who barely talks? <laughs> I can't picture it. Neither can I. But what happened after that? If you were so powerful in your human form, why did you decide to take up your bird form again? Once one had bid farewell to the world of mortals, what use would one still have for such a shape? I mean, fair enough. No need to be just a human when there's no human sitting by her, I guess. When dwelling between mountain and forest, away from the struggles and troubles of the mortal world, a mortal form is hardly the most fitting of choices. After the war, Cloud Retainer retired to Mount Outsong, ah. only revealing herself to the occasional visitor, and always in her avian form. Although I do believe there was an occasion some 30-odd years ago. Ooh. When she decided to don her human form. I believe it was for the purpose of... It one believes there is little need to relive bygone matters. <laughs> Shut the fuck up and don't reveal my past to <laughs> these little twats. Granny, are you okay? Uh... Back then, at this place, I... Perhaps this conversation should end here. I shall take my leave now. Alright, bye-bye, shorty. Should you encounter any trouble, you need only call my name. However, given that you are traveling with Cloud Retainer, I trust you are in good hands. Hmm. Oh yeah, also because, yes, yeah, Samir uh, wasn't present in the Arkham War because of, yeah, the Ermin Soul stuff, yeah. So there's nothing off to go off there. And of course, uh, Igiria, I think. Yeah, was Igiria even a part of the Arkham War? Like, she died because of what, of, because of Celestia's, like, punishment, and, uh, Fossil Lords was also punished, too, uh, because of Celestia's punishment, so, do they even have time to take a part in the war? But, that's what I'm curious about, too. What is Fontaine's involvement in the Arkham War? Did they just not participate at all? Hmm. There's much to lean towards the Cataclysm, yeah. So she's an adventurous and adept eye magic. I'm guessing you're referring to Sienyan, but yeah. I'm guessing, yeah, she can pretty much use both. Hmm. Well, <laughs> bye bye. Everyone, I, I think Granny is finally beginning to remember her past. Oh. Slowly now, calm your mind and recount what has been recalled. A long time ago, I stayed here to recuperate from my illness. Huh. So what Shinto said was true! You did fall ill! Mm -hmm. Is that why you went into hiding? I don't remember. I'm very sorry, but, but I can't even remember the name of my illness. The only thing I can remember is that it took a great toll on me. And there was no cure for it. Imagine the, Ill the illness was like Elazar or something. 
I'm not sure how, but <laughs> because it's only a Samara thing, but maybe it was, who knows. We can also infer that Egeria and Fosslores is most likely during Oh during the Cataclysm, yeah, 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 because Yeah, because right, right, right. So I'm guessing, yeah, maybe Egeria did take part in the Arkan War, but yeah, was died soon after to Celestia's punishment. Yeah, yeah, because Farina was alive for like 500 years. Yeah. I was confined to my room in Wangshu Inn, where I spent many days unconscious. I'd come to every once in a while and stare at the migrating birds outside the window. It was a solemn sight. I remember crying. But I'm not even sure I knew why. Hey, let me just move my laptop a bit here. There you go. One day, I met a traveling merchant. Oh. Upon hearing of my illness, he sold me a what bottle of soul revitalizing tea pills. Scaramouche, is that you? <laughs> he told me that the pills were concocted using Adepti blood and could be used to alleviate my symptoms. Hmm. Sure enough, I made a full recovery. My illness remained dormant for several decades after that. So the dementia you're suffering from now is actually... Wait, but if your illness remained dormant for several decades, are you saying that what you're going through now is just a relapse of what happened all those years ago? Yeah, doesn't lying dormant mean it's just it just stayed there? Like, what does lying dorm mean? It means just, it means like remaining still or something like that, right? So he, he didn't cure your illness at all. He, he just, what, just made it linger for your whole life. And it was all thanks to the pills that you managed to keep the symptoms in check? Yeah, why would you take a medicine uh, like my that? My brain kind of hurts. Do you remember anything else? I'm sorry, I don't. <sighs> oh. I'm having trouble understanding if only that. I wasn't so useless. Hey, you're not useless. You've done so much for me. Watched me grow up. Raised me. How could you say that about yourself? Oh, fret not, dear child. Granny was just a bit frustrated. That's all. The recovery of a person's memories is a gradual process. Finding pieces of one's past is always superior to not finding anything at all. True. Let us make haste to the next location. Next location. Hmm. Next location. Oh, why don't we go to the area north of Dwayun Kars next? There isn't really a landmark there, so where should we start? Oh, Paimon's got it. Let's check out the houses in the area first. After all, if she was there for any length of time, then she would have stayed somewhere, right? Oh, Paimon's really got her thinking cap on today. <laughs> and this Paimon's time, we'll recover all of Granny Wendy. Paimon's really got her brain cells back for her for today. <laughs> After losing them for like the previous story quests. Alrighty, uh look for clues and oh three areas, alrighty. Oops, from wrong <laughs> wrong button. Okay, so just like around around here. I wonder if we'll run into somebody else, like here. Like <laughs> like yeah, yeah, just imagine each area yeah. we go to we like run into it like a like yeah, another adeptus. Like yeah, we're just we just see Moon Carver and Mount Shape are just chilling somewhere around here for some reason. Okay. Uh, oh God, yeah. Why is there so many treasure orders here? All right, time to die. All right, thank you, thank you so much for just standing still and just dying. Plunge. Ow! Just, hey, don't do that. One, two, three, plunge! Okay, there we go. Do you remember anything about this place, Granny Wendy? Let me think. I feel like I've been here before, but I don't think I stayed here too long. I might have just rested here briefly before continuing on my way. Hmm. Got it. That's okay. There are still plenty of other places we can check. Wait a second. If I remember correctly, I 
believe I brought... Ah, yes. I brought some sweet snacks with me. <laughs> Go on, take some. You need to eat a lot if you want to grow big and strong. I'm good, thanks. Oh, thank you! Then Paimon will help herself. I guess Paimon take them then. Hold up, just uh, collect my artifacts here because I haven't been here in a while. I honestly forgot this was like a yeah, good artifact like fodder space. Skyward. Okay, where else do we gotta go? Okay, here and here. Uh, I guess we'll go here first. A uh, dormant similar uh how Kali told her told after her treatment because of the Fatui did cause her Elizabeth dormant, probably using the along those lines. Oh, okay, I see. Got gotcha. Yeah, cause honestly, I, I forgot what dormant meant uh, yeah, over the years. All right, let's go. Oh yeah, holy shit! Look at this fucking gliding speed, though. Holy shit, gliding is faster. Venti was right. My goodness. All you gotta do is just get the fan and put Cianion on your team, and voila. <laughs> yeah, definitely keeping her on my exploration team. Uh, what about this place? Any lost memories? I don't remember this place at all. I don't think I've ever been here before. That whoop well, shit did end. Still, I was thinking... This place feels perfect for a game of hide and seek! <laughs> really? Also, I, I, can't, I can't help but notice, but Sienna has like her whole ass back out. Like jeez, like you got you, you got clothes everywhere, and yet you decided to like leave your back just open, just like that. Just like what? Huh? Why a game of hide and seek? Oh god, are we actually gonna play hide and seek? I'm not sure. Maybe it's because I used to play that game a lot with Shuyu when she was younger. Hmm. I don't remember playing it that much. Are you sure about that, Granny? We only played a few times. And we stopped once we realized I was no good at the whole seeking part. Ah. Hmm. Is that so? Then I must be mistaken. Hmm. Not here, then. Let's try somewhere else. Hmm. I'm still sticking with my theory that she's an adeptus. Putting aside gummings, uh, like a unique exploration talents? Yeah, yeah I do, yeah. too. I kind of wish we had more of those rather than just... Having like five characters with a cooking passive. Like, come on, there's gotta be like more unique talents out there. Like, yeah, when are we gonna get a character with like a talent like Child so that actually like helps in combat? Cause yeah, why why him? Why is he the only one with uh with the talent to straight up boost your normal attack level? It, it's kind of weird, honestly. Okay, but, uh, let's check out this last scattered house. I'm just looking around, just, just in case I miss any leeway chests on the way here. Just somehow. Yeah, oh, and it shifts evening. Paimon sees an abandoned house! Why don't we take a break over there? This place... It's... Yep. Rem remember, remember your past, you Granny. Granny. I, I remember. What? Show you. Oh. This is where your father was born. Oh. It was a moonless night. I had been injured, so your grandpa was supporting me. We fled together with some. Being in the fog behind us in hot pursuit. What the fuck? I had exhausted my strength when the labor pains came on. Oh. So we took refuge in this house. So. Your grandpa set up a barrier outside, but neither of us knew if it could hold the monsters back. I remember that night. I remember falling to my knees, reciting a prayer over and over. I alone am the source of this sin. Punish me as you wish for forsaking my oath, but spare my innocent child. Sin? Oath? Did you do something wrong? Yeah, what the- what- what sin? I don't know. I don't remember. 
I only remember praying in the darkness with all my strength until the sun finally rose again and the fog cleared out. Eventually, the house was filled with the sound. Oh of damn! She just gave birth on the spot. Cries. Jeez. <laughs> that baby was your father. I remember. I clutched him tight to my chest and wept tears of joy. It was the first time I'd ever felt such happiness in my life. My dad? Oh. He was my pride and joy. And so are you, Shuyu. You're so much like him, and I love you both so much. But you're... always going to be different from me. I... Why? Just what did I do? Hmm. I don't care what you might have done, Granny. You'll always be the person I love more than anything. You're too sweet, Shuyu. I'm lucky to have you with me. If not for you, I would not have had the courage to come here to try to remember what I had forgotten. All right. Let's not stand around any longer. There's one place left, yes? Let's go take a look. If hmm. one recalls correctly, the next place should be Chun Peak. You and I, how fares your health? I may be a bit slow, but I'll do my best to keep up. I'm sorry to keep everyone waiting. Honestly, on. I shall carry you to the top. <laughs> I shall carry you to the oh, top. Such lightness of weight. <laughs> All those oh shit, who I forgot this enemy says one here. Fail in the end, do they not? First, you lose your memory, then your health. Eventually, you end up losing everything. Well, that's oddly ominous. My only wish is to depart this world with a lucid mind, to free myself of this torment and the burden it places upon others. Fret not, you have my aid in this endeavor. Yeah, honestly, I don't mind, like, the whole NPC, like, story stuff, but this is Xianjin's story quest, so I'm kind of hoping we get back to her, like, uh, like, soon afterwards. Because, yeah, I don't mind, like, discovering, like, what's the story behind the, uh, like, yeah, behind, um, this granny here, but honestly, I wonder what, how this all ties back to Xianjin. At least I'm hoping it does, because, yeah, that's a common complaint about, like, most Genshin story quests is that they're... Based more on the NPC than they are of the actual character. Kind of hoping this story quest is not like that, uh, too. Yeah, yeah, passes like Baiju's, Charlotte's, and Child's are like very, very unique. Like, yeah, the ability to like just take photos and also heal while collecting plants. That one, those are super unique passives. Like, yeah, I kind of wish we had like more unique ones rather than just just cooking ones, crafting ones, and uh. Yeah, the speed ones over and over again, honestly. Yeah, at least we did get to know a bit more about her through Shenhe and Ganyu, which is nice. So at least, yeah, it's a bit more balanced. Not that I don't hate the, like, yeah, I don't hate the NPC stuff by any chance, but when it takes over the entire story quest is when I have a problem. Because, yeah, I, I do know that's, like, a very common complaint about, like, Nilu's uh, story quest. And some other quests as well. Born of ice and frost. So yeah, kind of hoping this story quest doesn't become like that. Yeah, sometimes the NPCs can be used to elevate their their characters, but for some reason, like yeah, some story quests just don't do that. It's just based it's only form. on the NPCs. So here's hoping this uh, story quest doesn't pr uh, fall prey to that uh, that form of storytelling. <laughs> Okay, okay. Um, all right. Enough rambling for now. Let's uh, actually go ahead and uh, go to where now? Oh yeah, Tingyun Peak. Let's go. Yeah, Ayatus was good, but I think most people were bored of it because it's like mostly political, yeah. which not a lot of people are a fan of. <laughs> Rises was extremely good. I gotta say, yeah. Ayatus, I think, could have been a bit better, but I still enjoyed like the plot of his one nonetheless. Bird plunge, let's go.
The most annoying ones is Nilu's. I don't hurt hurt anything much about it. It's not about Nilu at all. It's more about an NPC's problems. Yeah, that's. I did like Nilu's quest, but honestly, I wish yeah the, the quest focused on more on her rather than uh these these NPCs that are probably never gonna show up again. Like you know. Like yeah, I kind of wish we focus on them a bit more. Also, hold up. <laughs> I want to grind a few ores here. Yeah, skyward, scatter. Yeah, but so far, I think that the quest has done a good job of like balancing between, like yeah, explaining more about Sienyun, uh, but while also doing the NPC stuff. Yeah, I think I'll, I think I'll just wait till the end of the quest to give my final thoughts of for like this whole quest. Because honestly, it is kind of interesting so far. Like trying to figure out and piece again who this uh, granny is. Huh. We're finally here. Does this place feel familiar to you, Granny Wendy? Let me see. How strange. Have I lived here before? Lived here in the mountains. <laughs> take it easy. Take your time. When we were at Wangshu Inn and the abandoned house earlier, though I couldn't remember everything, I still felt a sense of familiarity. I could easily picture myself in those places. Hmm. Lindy says is very good despite being with an NPC. Oh yeah, that 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 one's a good example of like yeah, using an NPC to elevate the character. Yeah. So you see Academia layoff about destroying Zubar Theater, or are you going to get a big meter? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the quality of the Fontaine Arc like, yeah, the Fontaine, not only the Arc Quest, but the story quest too are just so, so good. Linnies was amazing. I love Nuvolets and Risley's. Yeah, Nuvolets was a good example of, like, making use of an NPC to elevate Nuvolet himself. Sure that, yeah, he, he did care about humans. Or, like, oh yeah, around the time where he started caring about humans. Before, like, he was, like, so, so cold. And like distant from humans before, but now he's like, yeah, <laughs> perfectly like integrated into their society now. Yeah, Rises was pretty good. Who else do we have? Yeah, Navias was awesome as well. Uh, I'm trying to remember all the five stars, but I actually, is that all the Fontaine story quests, or am I missing a few? I'm probably missing a few here and there, but yeah, Fontaine was overall as a whole was awesome. But anyways, <laughs> enough of my rambling. Let's, let's actually uh, do the story quest. But here, I don't have that feeling. Uh, perhaps I did come here in the past, but it just didn't leave a strong impression on me. Oh yeah, Farina too. Why, 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 how did I forget about Farina? Yeah, her story quest is amazing. But did the stories get it wrong then? Hmm. We can't expect them to get everything right. I mean, yeah, she is a nameless her heroine after all, so... You probably don't know too much about them. That's true. But they're also the only thing we have to go off of. Paimon was hoping this place would jog Granny Uendai's memory just like the others. I'm sorry to disappoint you two. It's alright. We're not going to give up yet. We'll figure something else out. Just you wait. Thank you. If only I could remember. Huh? That way. What's that mountain? Yep, that's Cloud Retainer's abode. Looks like we've come full circle. Mount Outsong. Mount Outsong. Remember. Granny, are you okay? Don't push yourself, Granny. It's okay if you can't remember. You shouldn't do something that makes you sad. Mount Outsong, I... What am I really? Mount Outsong holds some familiarity to you? It does, but I... I can't go back. Are you feeling unwell? My head... It feels all heavy and dizzy. I... Hmm. Just... What is wrong with me? Cloud... Miss Yun, Is there anything you can do? I mean, you have a healing burst. Let us go to Mount Outsong. You can get right away. But... Fret not, all will be well. You and I, 
You have already given more than enough to the pursuit of this endeavor. You may leave the rest to me. I've prepared something that can aid you in suppressing the fear in your heart and restoring your lost memories. Oh. It currently resides at Mount Outsong. <laughs> it's like, besides in this invention I made. Wait, really? When did you do that? <laughs> I never ah. leave anything to <laughs> All will reveal itself when we arrive. Okay, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's just the Eye of the Storm enemy in the background. I was just like, ah, why is that thing coming out of nowhere to, to, to attack us? Yeah, it's just a background mob. Hold up, it's annoying me. I'm gonna go kill it. Give me a second here. All right, I forgot there's two My of them here. No touching. Hold up, you're annoying me, good sir. Your very presence annoys me. There you go. <laughs> yeah, just the way he fucking showed up out of nowhere. I thought that was like a scripted fight. Like, jeez. Yeah, I'm, I'm well aware about the bullying, like, in Farina's story quest. I have the theory, like, uh, yeah, I, I have... Th oh, wait, oh, there's a thing there I can take. I have a theory that the writers thought we would hate Farina because... Before 4.2 came out, Farina was getting, like, a lot of hate for being, like, such a brat and whatnot. I, for one, didn't hate Farina. I just, I loved her bratty personality, honestly. But yeah, for, Farina was, like, got, getting a lot of hate, like, online. And then, I guess the writers just thought, hey, I think they would still hate Farina. Which is probably why they led to the bullying stuff. I guess, no, I guess they didn't expect them... I guess, yeah, I guess the writers didn't expect us to, like connect with Farina so well after the uh, Act 5 Arc and Quest of Fontaine. And then, yeah, th they just expected us to just still be uh, mad at Farina. That's what I think, anyways. And also, you, you gotta consider as well that Paimon did not see any of uh, Farina's backstory. Only we did. So, Paimon has no clue what the hell's going on. Meanwhile, we have all the details. Like, we didn't even say sorry, but I do agree with the writers who didn't, uh, didn't expect that. Yeah. Hold up a minute, I gotta... hang on. Okay, sorry, sorry, somebody just dropped on the floor. But yeah, th that's what I think. I think the writers for, like... They were like two separate writers for like one for the Arkham Quest and one for Farina's Story Quest. And I'm assuming the, the one that wrote Farina's Story Quest just did not expect us to like Farina. <laughs> oh yeah, I haven't seen actually uh, Sienna's idle animations. Oh, she's like <laughs> cleaning her glasses there. That's cute. The impact of her writing was very gripping and anime trope aside, she's still... A very interesting character. I agree, yeah. Farina is very, very much interesting. And yeah, I bet you, like, the writers thought, like, oh shit, you, they actually like Farina now. Let's actually not bully her so much. <laughs> Which is why they kind of, like, made fun of it in, like, uh, the um, Roses and Muskets event. I'm still told if I should pull for her, but maybe in an alt count. I definitely agree that you should get her. She's mad busted. Yeah! And both like traversal and also like damage wise or like support wise, yeah, she's awesome. All right, the mount out song we go away. Cannonball. Yeah. yeah, was she preparing this in the in her, in her table this whole time? <laughs> yeah, what? Well, yeah, like, yeah, that little crane statue. Here, this is it. Huh? But isn't this the mechanism that you were tinkering with when we first got here? Oh, is it another invention of yours? Precisely. A recent one at that. I am most pleased with the result. I call it the Suspensus Somnium Mechanism. The S Suspensus Somnium Mechanism, what a name. <laughs> it periodically releases a soft breeze, mm. which when paired with a gentle adeptal tune, can help the listener subconsciously relax 
and even enter a semi-hypnotic state. Soothing agitation and anxiety, relieving exhaustion and insomnia, its potential uses are numerous indeed. And of course, it can also aid in the recovery of lost memories. Oh. Oh, what a cool gadget! But if you had it all along, why did you keep it to yourself until just now? And also, I gotta say, it's a heavy coincidence that you just happened to make that gadget just for this, like just before this quest began. We could have come to Mount Outsong right off the bat and saved time on a lot of floating. Yeah, true. Why don't we just came here immediately? How preposterous! Had you and I not recalled much of her past through her own efforts, the device would have nothing to draw upon. We Adepti can only help those who first resolve to help themselves. Ah. Had she lacked such determination and strength of character, one would have little to offer in way of assistance. I, might I guess it makes sense. She gets it now. Uh, hey, what's that other thing? As previously mentioned. Whoa. A gentle adeptal tune is required oh, it's to like take a music full box. advantage of the mechanism. One That's cool. such a tune from Streetward Rambler. Only with her melodies can the mechanism reach its peak power. Oh, this tune though. Wait, is it the the tune that she played in last year's Lantern Rite? Oh, Paimon can feel it. You oh yeah, it is, isn't it? Paimon's I think. I think. It's been a while since I heard that tune. As if she's lying down on a warm patch of grass after a super satisfying meal. And you, you and I, is the mechanism helping you to relax? <sighs> well, she's already asleep. <sighs> it appears she has already succumbed to the death. <laughs> well, that was quick. <laughs> Come, join one on this side. We shall give her some time to herself. God, it's so soothing she can sleep while standing. The drought is over. Oh. But why do you look like you want to cry? The potion. It's nearly run its course. I've never regretted meeting you. Not even for a second. Please. Please, no. Have you forgotten? Oh. This is the world you left behind. One of gentle breeze and morning dew. Perfectly straddled betwixt the realms of heaven and earth. This is your home. This is where you belong. Oh, and she is an adeptus. I called it. The you of the past. The me from not that long ago. We should have never. Uh, uh. Yeah, and she was that. Yeah, I'm guessing. Yeah, she was that bird that saved uh, her daughter, her granddaughter, all those years ago. So that is the truth. No wonder this place is so familiar. I. Granny. Granny. Are you okay? Cloud Retainer. Hmm. So, yeah, are these two acquaintances? Your memories have returned. Did she know all along? Did she, like, recognize her from the very beginning and was just trying to help her rem remember? Wait, did you just call her by her full name? Does that mean you already knew each other? Yes. I now remember everything. Oh, okay. Everything. So, so this is the important bit. Is Clary Tanner like helping an old friend? Granny, please don't cry. I'm here. I'm here. Oh, don't worry, my dear child. Granny is fine. I'm so sorry, everyone. You've gone to so much trouble on my behalf. It's all come back to me now. The most important thing that I had forgotten was the truth of what I once was. <sighs> One can sense the guilt that now plagues your conscience. Reclaiming a truth long buried is sure to come with a myriad of complex emotions. 
Perhaps one should recount the story on your behalf while you compose yourself. No, it's okay. Hmm. Now that I've remembered, I must face my memories head on. Shoo you, everyone. I cannot thank you enough for all your help. I'm ready to tell you my story, if you're willing to listen. Yeah, there's also that sickness too, which I... Yeah, which I'm almost sure that, yeah, made her forget that she was an Adeptus in the, fir in the first place. Alright, let's see the story. Please, Granny, don't force yourself. What happened in the past doesn't matter. I love you more than anything. Nothing you say can change that. I know, dear child. My feelings for you are exactly the same. It is for this reason that you deserve to know the truth. Some time ago, I made a terrible mistake. Oh, shit. One for which I could never atone. That's what's okay, so that's what she was praying for. Is this the sin that you mentioned in Dwayne Karst? What happened? I am, in truth, not a human being. Uh huh. My real form, one that I held for centuries, was that of a wild crane. I spent many, many years living on Mount Outsong, bathing in the soft breeze and drinking the sweet dew of the mountains. And yeah, no wonder she was going about about eating or forms. Wisdom and sentience. Hmm. The Lord of the Mountain, Cloud Retainer, became aware of my existence and began to share many stories with me. Huh. She even passed on the secret of cultivation to me. Weird. So just she was just a random bird at first and just all of a sudden gained sentience. Huh. That could just happen. Though she never took me on as a formal disciple, I always saw her as my master. Whenever she took out her tools to work on mechanisms or new inventions, I would also stand next to her and watch. Oh, damn. <laughs> you know what this means? That means Sian Yun technically has like three daughters. <laughs> I even With Yun Dai included. completing my training and becoming an adeptus in my own right. I followed her teachings. And time gradually passed us by. Until that fateful day, 50 years ago. 50 years ago? Uh, during the drought that struck Liwei? That's right. Master regaled me with many stories of her past deeds. From them, I learned how she had saved people from a similar crisis in the past. She was the one I looked up to the most. More than anything, I dreamt of becoming an adeptus like her. I wanted to travel the land like she had, relieving suffering wherever I went. So did she go to the go to the drought, and then maybe she tried to solve it, but then maybe she made it worse in turn. But I was still far from being a real adeptus. I possessed no ability to take on human form and fit in with the crowd. Once she learned of my desires, Master prepared a special dose of human mimicry potion for me. Hmm. She warned me that the potion's effects would only last ten years, and if I were to fail to return oh. to my original form at the end of that time, I would forever forget my past as a crane and become something neither human, beast, nor adeptus. Oh no. So that was... The source of your dementia all along. But you never turned back into a crane. Was it because of Grandpa? Because of his potion? Yeah, maybe. Indeed. I fell in love. Though he was human, he had spent his entire life training on Mount Tianhang. Hmm. When we met, it was not only my first foray into the world below, but his as well. So, so... T I'm sorry. It might be a bad time to bring this up, but did your did you, did your did your love know that he was that he was fucking a bird before he before you gave birth? <laughs> like that's something like that, you, that that I think somebody should know before before they get into a romantic relationship with somebody. Although clumsy and impulsive as he was, you'd think he was the real strange bird among the two of us. Whoa. But still, 
just like me. What? <laughs> he cared deeply about the world and wanted more than anything to cleanse it of all pain and suffering. I could not help but fall for him. But my time continued to tick away. Those ten years passed by in a flash. Yet I did not want to leave his side. Hmm. So I... Yeah, yeah sorry. Sorry. I'm I... sorry. I'm sorry for making it weird, but you just you, you gotta think about the bigger picture in this. It's just yeah, yeah, yeah it's a wholesome love story, but but at the but at the end of the day, at the end of the day, she's originally a bird. Like yeah. <laughs> then again, people uh, many people sip for Sienyun, even though she was initially collaborator. So <laughs> who who cares, right? <laughs> oh no! What happened next? I committed an offense. Oh dear. I wanted to stay with him, even if it meant living a life full of pain and suffering. Even if it meant that I would eventually turn into a monstrosity. I knew I had betrayed Master's hopes. But I was too ashamed to face her. So I wrote her a long letter instead and asked someone to leave it outside her abode. I was convinced that she would not support my decision. And I lacked the courage to speak to her face to face. In my shame, I fled and tried to hide from the world. Hmm. Such that no one would be able to find me again. So that's why the nameless heroine had hid herself. But that was only the beginning of my troubles. I began to suffer from a strange illness. My memories became hazy and confused. And I could no longer keep myself awake. I understood that my pain was caused by my refusal to return to the life I was fated to lead. Along with my memories as a crane, I soon forgot the true cause of my suffering as well. I knew only that I had committed a sin. All I could do was pray for forgiveness, even if I had long forgotten what needed to be forgiven. Looking back, I was beyond lucky to have come across that traveling merchant at Wangshu Inn. It was such a fortunate coincidence that hmm. we were there at the same time. If it weren't for those soul revitalizing tea pills, I probably would have. Wait. Ish. Was Sienyun that merchant? Maybe. <sighs> it was her, wasn't it? Granny, what's wrong? Coincidence? Why did I ever think it was a coincidence? Tea pills concocted using the blood of an adeptus? No, it couldn't be. Master, don't tell me. Oh, it is. Back then, that merchant was actually... <sighs> actually you? Human custom would dictate the conferral of gifts to be in order when one's progeny is wedded, would it not? Consider the pills a symbol of one's best wishes. Aw, so, so she did support her decision. <sighs> so when I tried to conceal my name and mistakes from the world and hide myself away in perpetuity, the only person I managed to deceive was myself. You knew where I was all along. One still remembers when you were but a fledgling. You possessed a certain fondness for a particular game. You would hide yourself among a group okay. of wild cranes and ask one to pick you out. That was a hide and seek. Yeah, that was a hide and seek stuff she remembered. One found you with such ease every time. I see. Tis a truth most evident. One always recognizes one's own, no matter what form they may take. Wait, wait, wait! Paimon's confused. <laughs> All the lore, Paimon. So, Cloud Retainer, you found you and I again? But how? When? And what happened after that? <sighs> Perhaps it is now time for one to recount the rest of the tale. Oh, cutscene? Cutscene time? Oh, what the fuck? Where the hell are we? Oh, shit, I get... Yeah, this is a... A C... Yeah, C3 CNN. Oh, shit. I'm not gonna read all that, but... I think this basically turns her into a DPS, I think. Oh, yeah, and I get, like, two charges of her skill. 
one was fueled. Oh, but I can't use midair though. Your That's a shame. Seized with anger, one set out to bring you to your senses. Oh, we're actually playing Sienu in the past. I see. I thought this was a domain, but no, this this is the past we're playing. This is cool, actually. Whoa, look at this. Holy shit. Okay, why don't we just form just like that? This is cool. This is a cool flashback, actually. One had more than a few misgivings about your chosen partner. As an exorcist, his talent was lacking. <laughs> one could hardly say his skill with sigils was any better. But soon, one came to appreciate the devotion he bestowed upon you during your illness. He never uttered a complaint and rarely left your side. Unwilling to begrudge someone of such character, one decided to overlook his aforementioned deficiencies. Glaring though they may have been, wishing to grant you a life without regrets, one gathered many divine ingredients and used one's own blood to create a form of medicine. Though imperfect, it managed to suppress the more dire effects of your illness. As for how to deliver the medicine, <laughs> after much contemplation, one eventually decided to perform the deed oneself. I ran into this little little twink called Scaramouche. He had this really interesting hat and uh, on him, and I decided to take inspiration. One took great care to all the <laughs> She put on a thick mustache and, and everything. The appropriate attire. Only after meticulous scrutiny did one finally set out for Wang Shu Inn. As one expected, you were most ignorant of one's true identity. You showed not even the slightest inkling of recognition. <sighs> One was quite torn. Should one have celebrated the success of one's disguise, <laughs> or mourn the loss of your acquaintance? But oh, damn, my disguise is so good, but at the same time, I'm kind of disappointed, you know? <laughs> Alright, moving right along. Oh, and then what happened next? Ooh, chests! Ooh, and Adeptite Bridges. I haven't seen these in a while, actually. Nevertheless, one would speak hey, to another I know how to use a skill. If you are amenable, even considering your loss of memory, one was simply flabbergasted that you could so easily forget the consequences of consuming medicine infused with Adeptal blood. Its proclivity to attract monsters is hardly that complicated of a concept to remember. To think that you tried to travel while weak from sickness oh. and heavy with child. Had one not intervened to clear the fog, all of you would have been lost during the night. Ah, so Sienyan fought all the monsters and protected her. I see. Bam! Plunge! Scatter again. Stray clouds converge. Bam. Bam. Die. <laughs> and yes, Yenu did this the whole night, driving all the monsters away. <laughs> well, they were just cooped up in there. That's insane, actually. Oh, follow the memories to find the truth. Those monsters would hardly have pursued you with such ferocity without sufficient incentive. They were likely incited by the presence of godly remains. Sad godly remains, in turn, mm -hmm. were likely drawn to the trace of one scent on your body. Oh. One was, after all, an active participant Holy in the shit. Archon War. <laughs> Some of the gods were likely shattered by contraptions of one's very making. She <laughs> fucking like this is a cool ass screenshot. I I'm gonna take a picture of this actually. This is cool. I kind of I kind of hope we can turn it off to like the UI sometime in the future, like with Star Rail. It's just like fully appreciate screenshots like these. In the end, one was relieved to see you endure through the night. At the break of dawn, one heard an infant's cry pierce through the air. And one saw you carefully cradle the child to your chest. 
Although certain mortal matters remain foreign to me, Aww. one could not help but be moved by your joy. To see you happy, that was more than enough. Aww. <laughs> Just like a proud mother would. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I feel like, yeah, at this point, uh, Granny here is also, like, want to see Sienyan's daughters at this point, along with Ganyu and Shen, huh? My goodness, how many how many children has Sienyan here have, has now raised? should have a complete understanding of the events. Wait! But if that's true, then the prey who took care of me when I was sick must also be... Yeah, it must also be her, right? One had almost neglected to recount the absurdities of that tale. Yeah, what happened there? Because I thought we kind of concluded that it wasn't her. Unless she's somehow able to change her color. <laughs> oh, hey, shit, we're leeway now. I kind of like, yeah, I kind of like this memory domain. This is cool. Yeah, skyward. Just as you and I troubled one with her antics, so did you give one many a headache. Yeah, I guess it's somewhat like, yeah, how Gerald saved, was saved by Ray and three houses. Yeah, you're, you're kind of right. Yeah, that comparison is actually kind of accurate, actually. Yeah, I wonder what Baiji just thinks about all this, actually. Like, what are his thoughts of just, like, yeah, Burke can just become a mortal just like that. Upon finding you burning with fever, one made plans to bring you back to one's abode. Okay, so yeah, that, that is Cloud Retainer. However, upon seeing one's form, you began to cry, <laughs> refusing to get on one's back. When one asked you why, <laughs> apparently you believed that one could not possibly be a true Adeptus. Oh, okay. Because all illuminated cranes are white from tip to toe. <laughs> so then I just <laughs> turned myself completely white just to appease you. One had no choice but to apply powder to one's body. Oh, never to mind. To <laughs> the variegated nature of one's appearance. You became more than amenable enough when one stood before you devoid of any other coloring. It bears mentioning, however, that as a crane, you and I was nearly entirely pure white in color. Though you had never encountered her in that form, you still recognized the essence of her being. Perhaps fate brought you two together in more ways than one. Hmm. Yeah, I do like that her C2 lets her, like, little feathers glow, yeah. Now all has been revealed. <sighs> One owes you an apology, you and I. One recognized you upon your very entrance into Wan Mean Restaurant. So this is, yeah, this is, <laughs> this is the business that she wanted to take care of. One has always viewed you as a disciple of equal standing with Ganyu and Shenhe. Indeed. One wish to bring your story to a satisfactory end with this visit to Liyue Harbor. Still, one could not reveal your identity right away. Had one simply informed you of all you had lost, all those cherished memories would merely have become the fictionalized account of another. Memories are most meaningful when recalled by those who live through them. True. Would you not agree? Even if the process was painful and arduous to experience. <sighs> Have you any further inquiries? Master, I... I must ask. If you found me all those years ago, why did you leave me be, even though you knew about my mistake? Why did you not bring me back to Mount Outsong by force? <laughs> because she's your mom. Well, not actually your mom, but she's like your mom. She's just happy that you... You are happy. One has never regarded your action as a mistake. It was a simple choice, nothing more. When it is time for one's progeny to leave the nest, it is the responsibility of an elder to let them fly free. Yet, when your wings grow weary and the night grows dark, just know that you always have a place to which to return. Tis a refuge referred to by many a name in mortal writing. Home, nest, haven. Whatever its denomination may be, its essence remains quite unchanged. Hmm. One speaks, of course, of a place not unlike one's own abode. One's disciples are free to come and go as they wish. 
Yet the door remains forever open to those who wish to return. Mm -hmm. One rather hopes you count yourself among them. Thank you. I just... God damn. Thank you so much. This is... Yeah, this is a good story quest. Honestly, yeah, I didn't, I didn't expect... So, yeah, I, I predicted that Granny, yeah, Yuende here was an Agentis. I did not expect her to literally be, like, under the disciple control of, uh... Yeah, be one of uh, Sienna's disciples here, though. <laughs> was not, yeah, expecting that plot twist. Hmm. You and I. <sighs> one expects you, too, have sensed the rapid deterioration of your condition as of late. Have you not? Forty years ago, you chose a path without a future. Though one used one's own blood to provide you with a few decades of extra time, it merely delayed the inevitable. Mm. One may have extended the path, yet one was unable to alter its final destination. <sighs> Even the power of an Adeptus has its limits. Had your condition continued to deteriorate, you would have forgotten your life as a human entirely. In the end, you would have turned into a creature lacking in the ability to even comprehend its own monstrousness. Fortunately, you were able to avoid that scenario by reclaiming your memories. Though one sped the process along by providing some guidance, the result is entirely a reflection of your own effort. So, what's gonna happen to Granny? Yeah, what happens now? Maybe she can be forced to turn back into a bird? One will help her reclaim her original form as a wild crane. Oh. If it be fated, she may recover her sentience one day. Oh, she, she has to go back to being a bird without sentience? She's gotta go back to being a regular crane, huh? Is there no other way? Master, you've already done more than enough for me. I don't know how I could possibly repay your kindness. This is a better result than I could have ever hoped for. What's kind of hot to the... How much time do I have left? Yeah, what's gonna happen to the kid, though? Because the parents are dead. All, yeah, you're the, you're the only family that she has left. <sighs> Not long. Shit. The transformation is imminent. Hey, Granny, please don't leave a Aww. You're all I have left. Please. Don't be sad, dear child. Granny has led a wonderful life. My only regret is having to leave you behind. Don't forget to eat well, okay? A growing young lady like yourself needs lots of good food to grow big and strong. Promise Granny you'll take good care of yourself when I'm gone. I mean, I guess if she's gone, then I guess Cloudy Tina can take care of her instead. I Damn. Promise Granny. This is sad, though. I'll do whatever you say. Good girl. Good girl. Don't worry. It's not goodbye forever. Granny's gonna become the most formidable crane in all of Mount Outsung. Granny will train day and night. I won't stop until I can turn into a human without having to rely on anything but my own power. When that day comes, we'll be able to live together again. You and I. How's that sound? I just realized it. You and I, you and I, that's... That's just some awfully... Like, yeah, coincidence with the naming there. Good. That's a good girl. Even though we won't see each other for a little while, as long as we both work hard, Aww. we're sure to meet again someday. Is Lumi remembering her brother? Well, Granny, Aww. I promise, and I'll wait for you, no matter how long it takes. I'll wait for you to come back. That's a good girl. Then Granny really has no more regrets. <coughs> I'm so sorry, Master. Thank you for everything. I'm I'm sorry. This is this is an emotional moment and all, but why the fuck is there crap on the chair? <laughs> <laughs> like, this is all serious and everything. And it's all, like, somber and sad. But why the fuck is there a crab on the chair? <laughs> that caught me off guard. Why is that there? 
<laughs> okay, I'm, so, I'm sorry, but uh, why? Why of all places does a crab spawn there? Yeah. My thoughts exactly, she's the kind of adeptus who doesn't know how to transform into a human yet, yeah. Like, yeah, maybe she can be become a full-fledged adeptus someday, but <laughs> she's gonna have to, like, yeah, train super, super hard for it. Yeah, this honestly was a really, it's a really, really good story quest. I'm enjoying the hell out of it so far. <laughs> even though, yeah, even though crab on the chair, it's, <laughs> it's uh, kind of throwing me off here. Yeah, I, I think I will clip this for short. <laughs> just, just, what's he doing there? Get out of here, Mr. Krabs. All right, I, I'm going to progress the, the, the story now. <laughs> He's <laughs> still there. Back to bird form. Say thee well, you and I. Until we meet again. Ah. Let her be. At her age, crying is a natural, if not fitting, response to such an event. Tears are a necessary <clears throat> part of maturation. Sometimes there is scarcely a better vehicle to wash away the toll of stress and misery. I can't, dude. <laughs> the, the fucking crab on the chair. It's too funny. <laughs> it's, it's, I know I'm meant to feel sad and all, but... but <laughs> But look, it's a crap on a chair. How can I not laugh at that? Now that the issue has been resolved, <sighs> you should also take a moment to relax. Give yourself some time to rest. Take a nap if you must. One will wake you in due time. Mm. Oh, oh, cutscene. Nah. Yeah, let's have let's have a nice little nap. That's where all the little problems in your mind just work themselves out. Whoa, what the heck? Oh shit, she's back already? <laughs> that was quick? In a day? Or is this a dream? Aww. Oh, what the? Aww. Don't do this to me, game. It's a dream, isn't it? I always believed we would see each other again. Oh shit. That our days of separation would finally end. Aww. That all my troubles would be behind me. Fuck, man. You can't do this to me, Genshin. <laughs> So yeah, I long for them to be reunited. If only things could stay this way forever. It's all a dream, ain't it? Yeah. Aww. A nightmare. Curious. If you relaxed, shouldn't your dreams be pleasant? Well, it was it pleasant. Was a good dream. It's just you weren't ready to wake up. Yeah. <laughs> Go back to sleep. <laughs> or, oh no, come over here. <laughs> Oh, 
house. Like it's a Disney movie. It's a Disney film. All the animals are coming over. Eloquent as one may be, words of comfort are not one's strong suit. You are doing all you can. One can see your strength of will, your fearlessness in the face of danger. And so, whatever your dream may be, one believes that you shall achieve it. Of course, whenever the perils you face overwhelm you, or you become weary, one is always here for you. Aww. <laughs> After all, as an elder, it is only right to look out for the young ones. <laughs> I shall adopt you as my daughter, too. <laughs> chicken drumstick. But for fuck's sake, Pipa. <laughs> here we are, having the most emotional dreams of our lives, and here's Pipa just thinks <laughs> me for fucking hell. Uh. Yes, you were. <laughs> that was a that was a that was a good cutscene. Yeah, that was so so good. Man, yeah, I really do want the two siblings to be re to be reunited again. I'm surprised we never brought them up like pretty much at all throughout the whole Fontaine quest. I wonder when we will see them again. Cause, yeah, they said, like, once we reach the end of our journey, we will know the truth of this world, but I don't think we're, we're anywhere close to learning the truth of this world. Yeah, here's hoping we get, like, a Danes of Quest in the future that has, yeah, our twin involved. Yeah, seeing our sibling again was, was kind of nice, even though it was just in a dream form. <laughs> yeah, Sienna officially has reached mom status. <laughs> we, we are now her daughter. <laughs> Talking to you, Paimon had a dream about eating grilled chicken drumsticks, that's all. M Madam Adeptus? Oh, shoot you, you're awake. How do you feel? I... I feel... a little better. Thanks. I know I'll see Granny again someday, so I don't feel so sad anymore. Yeah, this is, this is just as good uh, and as touching as Nahida's story quest, yeah. Yeah, that cussing was really, really good. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna lie, I almost shed a tear there. It's just like those moments where, like, you're, like, in your, like, darkest, darkest moments, and, like, you just need, like, that solid, like, pep talk to, like, get you back up on your feet. That's what it felt. That's what it felt like. It's like, yeah, Sien Yun's, like, telling you, like, yeah, whatever your dreams may be, you will accomplish them. <laughs> And yeah, just sometimes those are just the words people need to hear in order to like, yeah, get themselves back up, back in the fight and everything. Yeah, this, this was a really, really good story quest. Holy shit. Madam Adeptus, could I uh, ask you something? <laughs> Would you take me in as a disciple? Oh, for fuck's sake, now I have five daughters. <laughs> oh, and have you reasons for this sudden interest? I know Granny thought what she did back then was wrong. She felt really bad about it, but... Without that mistake, I would have never been born. Even though Granny lost her memories, she never forgot to show me how much she loved me. So... I thought maybe one day, I could become a cool adeptus like you, and help a whole bunch of people, just like Granny wanted to do. Oh, well, time to take on another apprentice. Upon some reflection, one supposes you are no mere mortal. The fact that Yuan Dai's blood flows through your veins is proof enough of that. If this is what you desire, <laughs> one shall make it so. Good lord, how, how many people is Sienna gonna ad adopt and take in as their disciple? Thank you so much, Madam Adeptus. No, uh, I mean, Master. I to you, are you sure about this? <laughs> yeah. Uh, even though Sienna seems kind of caring, she she's an Asian mom. You you definitely got to be careful about them. Paimon's gonna let you in on a little secret. We've seen Cloud Retainer's two other disciples, and they pretty much eat nothing but bitter herbs like chinchin and violet grass. 
If you join them, you'll never enjoy One Min Restaurant's delicious cooking ever again. <laughs> <sighs> How utterly preposterous. One has never enforced such a rule. It's just only like that way because there's no animals up here. <laughs> Every individual must find their own path to enlightenment. So long as one retains a pureness of spirit, one's dietary proclivities are quite irrelevant. Well, you say that, but Paimon's not seeing any tasty treats up here now, is she? <laughs> you mean these tasty treats? Like, she... Yeah, she's gonna bring up the, the treats we gave her, isn't she? Although Mount Outsong is rich in natural beauty, its location does preclude access to certain finer mortal comforts. That is precisely why one plans to relocate oh, to Oh, okay, Harbor. right, right. Shu Yu shall have the honor of becoming one's first disciple in the human world. Right, I almost forgot. Yeah, she was planning to move to Liwei Harbor anyways. Whoa, you're leaving Mel outside? Is that why you took on this human form? One has never concerned oneself with the location of one's residence. From the very beginning, one has sought only solace and peace. Yet in the end... All of one's disciples ended up in Liyue Harbor. Ganyu, Shenhe, Yuandai. They all chose a life among the mortal world. Oh well, yeah, because the mortal world is just a lot better than the mountains, honestly. <laughs> no, no dissing, just, it just is. One has reflected on this fact for many years now. One can only assume that it is due to some failing on one's part as an elder or master. A failing, perhaps, of recognizing what it was they truly wanted. One is most curious as to what aspect of Liyue Harbor could have enticed them to remain there. Well, probably people, you know. <sighs> Actually having people to talk to. I hardly offer an opinion on the matter. But perhaps some time in the harbor will prove instructive. Why are you all so silent? <laughs> we never expected you to make a decision like this before. <laughs> Just a bit shocked, that's all. So, does this mean we can grab a meal together in Leeway Harbor sometime? Yeah, you want to, like, drop by McDonald's or something? Get a big chicken? <laughs> One has precious little Actually, wait, no, you're wonder. probably... However, that's probably not a good if idea. If <laughs> finds oneself otherwise unoccupied, one would not be opposed to the idea. Yeah, I wonder... <laughs> I wonder. I ran a question, but... Would, uh, would Sien Yun and also subsequently maybe you and I, would they be... <laughs> I wonder how they would react to like eating other like chicken and whatnot, like bird food, like chicken and duck and whatnot. Like, how would they react? Because <laughs> isn't that essentially cannibalism, even though they are like eliminated beasts and whatnot? <laughs> I wonder about that, actually. <laughs> One will be assuming the identity of a human while residing in Liyue Harbor. You should take care to avoid disclosing one's true identity. Don't worry, we'll help you keep it a secret. We'll try our best anyways. So, uh, when can we expect to start seeing you in the city? Oh, when Lantern Rite comes out. Perhaps in two days' time. One has some matters to see to before one's departure. Preparation is the key to success, after all. One plans to put up various items from one's collection for sale. Really now? The earnings should provide for a comfortable living in Liyue Harbor. <laughs> I really wonder. Who's gonna... Who, yeah, who, who would buy Sienna's... I mean, Sienna has plenty of useful devices, so... And maybe some of them will sell. One has already picked out a handsome property near Chuhu Rock. Ah. Just no small purchase, but what is mortal life if not one expense after another? Seems like you've really thought of everything. Then how about we meet up in Liyue Harbor in two days? A sensible plan. See you then. Oh, also, why don't you take this suspense Ooh. insomnia mechanism? Can I put that in my teapot? Anytime you should feel ill at ease in the future, you may try quieting your mind and sitting in meditation as you listen to its melodies. It might help you find a new perspective. Awesome! Thanks, Cloud Retainer! <laughs> Thanks, Mommy Bird. Hey, did it? That we tell him what we found oh, out? fucking, yeah, crab on a chair still here. Come here, you. It's, totally up to you. <laughs> it's your fault for ruining the cutscene. Damn you. <laughs> yeah, that crab on the chair were just still there. <laughs> ah, God damn it. Oh, no, no, another crab is here as well. So, about your move to Liyue Harbor, you gonna tell the other Adepti about it? Uh, yeah, it's Mount Shaper and the rest gonna know about it. I have left an explanatory note in my abode. Oh. <laughs> Those two old fossils will discover it, I am sure, should they come seeking my company. 
Considering their recent pension for going off on private escapades, however, I find myself caring little for how they shall receive this news. <laughs> Well, good on you, uh, Sienyan, I guess. Yeah, did we, uh, yeah, that thing is a, an... Yeah, is that a teapot furnishing? The, uh... The crane? Uh, yeah, where can I find it? Yeah, let, let me actually go to my teapot and see, uh... And see, uh, put it down, maybe. Yeah, she is an adventurous, so I'm guessing she would have, like... Plenty, plenty of shit to sell, uh, while in leeway. Um, yeah, can I... Yeah, where is it? Oh, there it is, hey! It's a Suspensus Somnium, uh, mechanism. Nice. Can I actually put it down? Oh. Yeah, will it actually play music if I, like... Let's put it here, for example. <laughs> I apologize for my teapot, by the way. It's like, <laughs> uh, it's not kind of, it's not finished, as you can see. Don't worry, one of these days I'll probably, like, finish up the, uh, the teapot. One of these days. When I have time. Actually, yeah, where's my music player? I forgot to put that one down. Let me... Okay, where do you find the music players again? I, I forget. Or maybe it's this. Oh, no? No. Where do you get the... You know, what category is the music thing in? Actually, we'll just ignore it for now. Alright, those two often do their escapades. Yeah, I wonder what they're up to, like, while uh, all our stuff is going on. They're just... Like, what do, what do they do in their free time? Ooh, enable? Oh, do we actually get to hear the music from it? Ah, that's cool. That's nice. I might want to turn this thing around, though, like, later on. That's nice. Oh, yeah, I, I, I almost completely forgot. Since we're getting the teapot anyways, I need to, um... Uh, take out some of my characters here and put in, uh... Yeah, I'll put in Sienu and Gaming in, in the teapot. Um, I was actually gonna make a teapot video, um, soon, but, uh, I think that will wait until, like, much later on. Yeah, l let me get rid of the, uh, <laughs> let me uh, retire the, uh, siblings first. There we go. Yeah, let's put Sienu and Gaming down. And sure, why not? I'll just put Lindy, like, right here. <laughs> They should implement the story replay option, like in Honkai Star. It'll be nice to replay and get old rewards. Yeah, they really should, honestly. Like, for certain events. I don't know why they don't do that, honestly. Like, if it's a matter of storage space, you can always, like, delete the event, like, after it's finished, you know? Because, yeah, doesn't Genshin have that feature where you can, like, delete old story quests if you already played? So, yeah, why doesn't, uh, does it, why don't they just do that for the events? Yeah, you have a point there. Apparently she said, uh, as if Ping played the zither, the effects are amplified. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, right. I, I guess, I, yeah, I do remember that from the yeah, previous Lantern ride. Yeah, you know what? Let's actually go talk to Genya and see, and, uh, see what she's up to. This realm offers pleasing scenery, <laughs> a state of quietude, and excellent amenities. Very suitable for those who wish to study the art of mechanics in peace. Were you perchance inspired by one's own abode? I guess I was, question mark. How do you like it here? Hmm. It brims with adeptal energy. The views are expansive. Yes, it is most to one's liking. Speaking of adeptal energy, mortals cannot wield the power of subspace creation with which this abode was made. Whence did you procure this treasure? Uh, that was a gift from Adam Ping. Ah, I see. <laughs> She's just like, yeah, of course. <laughs> Streetwood Rambler has always been fond of natural scenery, and often laments its transient nature. For the most pleasant sights tend to disappear with the change of seasons. Small wonder, then, that she utilized the power of subspace creation to preserve her favorite 
favorite sites within this teapot. Yet it is you, through your furnishing endeavors, <laughs> who have transformed this subspace into the most homely of lodgings. The next time... I like the way she speaks, honestly. <laughs> ...sustenance in the outdoors. Perhaps one shall invite oneself over for dinner. You're always welcome. Oh, you accept the idea with such alacrity. Then it is settled. One looks forward to your cooking. And one looks forward to completing all your friendship voice lines. Oh, hey, <laughs> yeah, we'll talk to Gaming some other time. But yeah, I just wanted to put them down just so I could start claiming, uh, like, yeah, friendship uh, EXP for them. Yeah. And also share too, because she's not done. Yeah, sorry to interrupt this story quest by uh, looking at the teapot. Oh, yeah, there's also... Oh, yeah, we also have... Oh, yeah, do we have new furnishing set up for... Or yeah, or maybe existing furnishing sets if you ever... that uh, Sienyun and Gami would like. Let me actually check that actually before we get back. Uh, yeah, let's look through here. Oh yeah, okay. So, actually, don't I have this? You have to set already, don't I? Yeah, fuck it. Let me go ahead and just place it down and see what uh, Sienyun and Gami have to say about it. <laughs> Sorry for interrupting the story quest, by the way. I just, I'm just very curious to see uh, what these ones are all about. Uh, okay, and Sienna and Gami like these ones as well. Oh, I should probably move somewhere else. Oh, wait, do I get... I don't have a waypoint here. Yeah, you want... I, I'll just save this for, like, a, a separate video. Like, yeah, a teapot video for uh, Sienna and Gami. Oh, yeah, I think I put on the wrong furnishing set, actually. <laughs> Uh, and then, okay, Sienna like this one, and I'm, I'm assuming Gami likes one in the indoors. Yeah, this one, right? No, not this one. Yeah, right. Yeah, okay, don't worry. <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, I'm sorry to interrupt, but, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, head back to the story quest and finish it first. Let's, uh, go on back to Leeway Harbor and wait it out. How's 4.4? It's honestly uh, fun so far. Yeah, we did manage to get uh, Sienyun and Gaming, even though I did lose 50-50 to D. Luke. But yeah, so far I'm enjoying uh, yeah Sienyun's story quest. It's really, really good, honestly. Yeah, honestly, you see, I probably... I wouldn't say my favorite story quest, because I do know there's like, like other ones that are better than this. But honestly, yeah, it's like probably one of my, my favorite leeway story quests, I gotta say. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I think this, this gotta be like up there with like one of my favorites, like probably next to Zhang Li story quest. Yeah, it's like the emotional beats and everything, and also we did get to learn a bit more about uh, Cloud Retainer and all, uh, all her history. And uh, honestly, this quest was really, really good. Yeah, I highly rec recommend you guys play it for yourself. But alrighty, let's wait out two days and uh, yeah, end off the story quest. Yeah, we really gotta have her visit Fontaine. I really want to see what how she reacts to like all the advanced stuff there. Somebody says she looks like Bayonetta. I don't know who she is though. Oh, look her up. She's uh, I think she's a N Nintendo character, and she's from the the game series Bayonetta. But yeah, if you look at her and look at uh, Sienyun, you would see that they're very, very similar. Although, it's probably just a glass, though. And also the high heels. Lovely dreams. Uh, go to Liwei Harbor and yep, visit the Sienyun. Oh, yep, there she is. Oh, what the... Who, who's she talking Your to? Your concerns are excessive and unfounded. Oh boy. This is but a simple collection of ordinary valuables. Such intense scrutiny is hardly necessary. Uh, to be quite honest, your insistence on that fact is my primary cause for concern. Oh god, what's going on here? In what way are any of these ordinary? Every single item here could be worth more than everything I own combined. I simply can't risk shelling out that kind of mora without proper scrutiny. If I'm wrong, I would never be able to earn it back, not even if I worked every single day for the rest of my life. I have to be careful. Yes, you can never be too careful. Oh, she's selling her goods. We're here, Quill. Uh, <laughs> Miss God damn it, Paimon, don't slip up. Ah, oh, perfect timing. 
This ignoramus is questioning the authenticity <laughs> of my wares. I'll have you know, these items have remained untouched in my personal collection for several hundred years. To question their legitimacy is pure folly. Hey, Sienna, remember, you're supposed to be a human right now, remember? Several hundred years? It, indeed. <laughs> um, they're family heirlooms, you see. Passed down over many generations, as families are wont to do. Yep, yep, they've definitely been around a while. Good <laughs> best for on that one. Hear that? Had I not found myself in need of Mora, I would scarcely have had the heart to part with them. Indeed, you should consider it an honor to even have the opportunity to behold them with your own eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we better yeah, better call Ganfei. Yeah, we better call Ganfei to like settle this. Huh. Doubt their authenticity. Honestly, yeah, I'm surprised further. we didn't run into her, I mean, considering she's an adept to too. Another buyer. Whoa, 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 whoa! Please don't go. <laughs> I apologize for any insult, Miss. You see, I know full well that I lack the knowledge to judge the true worth of these items. If you could wait, but a moment. I've hired an expert to appraise them for wait. me. Wait. Should be here shortly. Wait a minute. He. Zhongli? An expert, you say? Zhongli? Oh, very well. I will wait for a little while longer then. Traveler, Paimon, this is my new residence. If you have cause to seek my company in the future, this is where you can find me. Master! Oh, it's you two again. Oh shit! Hello. You... Oh shit! He, yeah, she's wearing Adepti clothes now. Shoo you! You got a new outfit! It looks great on you. Mm hmm. Master made it for me. I like it too. Oh god, she has the she has like the ropes that like Shenha does. Huh? You know how to make clothes? Yeah, why wouldn't she know? <laughs> Do I know how to make clothes? With the support of the proper mechanism, sewing is hardly a challenge. I mean, yeah, if she can make fucking machines, I expect her to make clothes too. Like, come on, it's not that hard. Master, I brought in most of my stuff. <laughs> There's a few boxes left, but they're kind of heavy, so I just left them outside. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I, I, it's kind of weird. Like you see the ropes, they're like clearly two D textures, like on the shirt, not like the three D textures that are like Ganyu and Shen, huh? <laughs> so I can I feel like they just kind of make this texture just like super super quickly, and just never had the time to just like actually bring in like the rope model. <laughs> I don't know why it's just super jarring to me. Fret not, I shall help you move them into your room. Uh, actually, I, I should probably uh, sort through my stuff a bit first. <laughs> Everything's kind of messy right now, so maybe you could um not look yet, Master. Yeah, that'd be great. <laughs> What's wrong? Why, why can't we look through? <laughs> it appears my young apprentice has her own fair share of secrets. <laughs> no matter. Do what you must, child. Now, this expert you mentioned. When can we expect their arrival? Soon, soon. Ah, there he is. That uh, is it, Zhong Li. Here, allow me to make. There he is. Yes. <laughs> this is Mr. Zhong Li, a well-respected <laughs> consultant at Wang Shang Funeral Parlor and an expert in all manner of valuables and antiques. Wow, I have no idea who this guy is. <laughs> Mr. Zhong Li, this is Miss Shen Yun. She's the one who's looking to sell the collection of valuables I mentioned earlier. Hmm, <laughs> you look familiar. <laughs> Uh. Hey, we've met before, haven't we? <laughs> huh. <laughs> what what a fucking coincidence. Ah, if it isn't Miss Shenyun. <laughs> it has been quite some time since our last meeting. What a serendipitous reunion. <laughs> it's, this is so awkward, I love it. <clears throat> in, indeed, most serendipitous. Uh, have you been faring well as of late, Mr. Zhongli? Quite well, thank you. I was fortunate enough over the past few days to enjoy both a stroll in the mountains and a fresh brew of tea from the most recent harvest. The experiences left me with such insight and peace. Huh. Uh, so you two are already acquainted? Uh, yeah. <laughs> in more ways than one. <laughs> Indeed. How fortunate we are that fate has brought us together again. If you are otherwise unaware, allow me to inform you that Miss Shenyun is a well-regarded collector and appraiser. <laughs> she is well-versed in all fields, and oft-celebrated for her impeccable taste. 
You stand to gain much from this opportunity. <laughs> Zhongli here just writing out her whole backstory just <laughs> off of lies. <laughs> you are too kind, Mr. Zhongli. True collectors pride themselves on their wealth of knowledge and eye for detail. <laughs> I can say without a doubt that you are foremost in that regard. Why, you flatter me, Miss Shenyun. It would seem that you are as self-effacing as ever. <laughs> Not at all, Mr. Shangli. Not at all. Um... <laughs> are you two flirting or something? <laughs> While I am loath to butt into this conversation, I must ask... You two already knew each other, and you seem to have quite a cordial relationship. Oh god, no, 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 no. Can no. I be certain that you're not working together to swindle me? I mean, you never know. <laughs> huh, a preposterous accusation. <laughs> the yep. themselves would collapse before we would conspire to do such a thing. <laughs> Honestly, I do miss angry cloud retainer. I'm kind of glad that she's kind of just going off with this guy now. <laughs> Miss Shenyun speaks the truth. Contracts are built on honesty and trust. If that proves to be beyond your capabilities in this instance, this transaction may be taken elsewhere. Say no more. Let us depart. <laughs> Let's go. I, I jest, I jest. What fool would still harbor doubts after Mr. Zhongli himself has vouched for the goods? Miss Shenyun, Miss Shenyun, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Is that where it ends? Okay. I, deeply apologize <laughs> I was gonna say. For doubting you. So, um, Mr. Zhongli, could you please give me a final verdict on the value of these items? There is no cause for concern. They are indeed rare and precious valuables. Take this mechanism, for instance. Though one may not immediately perceive its purpose, its structure and appearance are exquisite enough to merit it a place in any fine home. In fact, <laughs> in fact, this mechanism looks really cool looking. Can I buy it for myself? Who Tower paid the bill? <laughs> the same can be said for this one here. Few could hope to possess an item that so perfectly blends mechanical wonder with geometric grace. I am sure you have heard from your travels that the study of mechanisms is among the most wondrous arts in this world. With that in mind, I earnestly recommend procuring every last item in this collection. All right. Since I hired you as my consultant, Mr. Zhongli, I shall, of course, trust your good opinion. Then, in that case, Miss Shenyun, I'll take the lot. However, since the final sum is quite large, how about we start with an initial deposit through the Northland Bank? Deposit? What the heck is that? The Northland Bank? Huh. Oh, you refer to the fiduciary house. <laughs> oh, very well. <laughs> the fiduciary house? <laughs> <laughs> I fear people only use the term bank nowadays. In that case, I'll be off for now. I'll return to collect the goods once you've received the funds. <laughs> All right, bye-bye. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> you guys want to talk about that? <laughs> Hey, it's been a while. <laughs> My friends, have you been doing well? We've been great. How about you? Paimon didn't know you were such a busy consultant. I honestly didn't expect him to see him here, but honestly, it, it makes sense. <laughs> My days have been quite pleasant as well. Oh, yeah, I honestly, Miss Zhongli. enjoying a cup of tea when Mr. Shaozu requested my services. I, I miss uh, Keith Silverman's soof, silky Zhongli voice. As for you, Miss Shenyun... I presume you must be looking to settle in the city? <laughs> I must say, the name Shenyun sounds exceedingly strange coming from you. Perhaps you could dispense of that particular epithet in further conversation. I mean, no, you can't. You're, you're trying to integrate into human society, so you can't. <laughs> Whatever for. Am I not addressing you as a friend should? Well, that is true, but... <laughs> Feels weird for your god to call you by <laughs> so casually, huh? <sighs> Alas, refer to me however you will. After all, a name exists such that others may address you with it. One is hardly ignorant of that fact. <laughs> it would seem that you have gained many valuable insights over the years, Cloud Retainer. One has indeed. One's previous stays were all brief. Now that one has made up one's mind to move and settle, 
One has gained a much better appreciation of the hubbub and commotion of the city, as well as the people's hard work and ardor. This city is much changed from how it was more than a thousand years ago. Not unlike the ocean tides, so too shall the movement of people ebb and flow. From turmoil to peace, enlightenment to aspiration, human society possesses limitless potential. In another thousand years, the scene we witness here may change in ways that are impossible for either of us to imagine. That's enough reflection for one day. You need to get all sentimental on us. <laughs> come on, Paimon. Just, just, come on. We can get sentimental for at least once. I mean, we already did, like, earlier, but still. Come on. <laughs> you make a valid point, Paimon. Now that the sale has concluded, what say one plays the host as we try some specialty dishes together? One must profess great interest in trying bamboo shoot soup. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you have forgotten, Cloud Retainer. But I once tried my hand at that dish. You were at the table on that occasion, so oh. <laughs> logic dictates that you should have already tried it. Oh? What occasion was this? It was a reunion between friends several centuries ago. Alas, you must have been too preoccupied to secure yourself a portion. Ooh, or tell me more. Our other companions simply availed themselves of faster reflexes on that occasion. Ha! Huh, hardly. Was most certainly out of consideration for the others in attendance. In but a moment, one will show you what it means to have a true deafness of hand. It is settled then. Bamboo shoot soup, mora meat, crab oh god. roe tofu, oh god. triple layered consomme. Oh goodness. We shall enjoy the lot. <laughs> well, hope your stomach can take it. One has already passed word to Shenhun Ganyu to make a reservation. Oh shit, we're it gonna prime them, them too. To meet one's newest disciple. Is that agreeable to everyone? <laughs> It should be a most splendid occasion. <laughs> Thank you so much, Clavi Tanner. Shu Yu, come now, it is time to dine. Ah, <laughs> this gentleman over here is Mr. Zhang Li. He is, um... He's Rex Lapis. <laughs> a humble employee of Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Nice to meet you too, Mr. Zhang Li. That should be everyone, right? Let's go! Sounds good. Actually... Master, have you ever tried Adeptus's Temptation? Oh yeah, the only five-star <laughs> food eating in the game? Just one bite. You know, cause it's super tempting and stuff. Is that true? Hmm, that sounds rather implausible. Although with the right preparation, certain dishes can be too delicious to resist. Huh? Why are you all walking so fast? <laughs> hey, wait for Paimon! Hey, you catch up with us! Hey! No. Is this our dance? Uh, are we actually not gonna see the dinner between all of us? Ah, uh, of course. Damn, though, that was a really, really good story quest. <laughs> I love that part of the end. <laughs> Zhong Li and Cloudy Tater just pretending not to know each other. Oh, hey, what's this? What well, seems like a book of accounts, a letter can also be found inside. Little you, my dear daughter. By the time you read this, mommy and daddy will have already left to go on a, on a long journey. Your granny may get a little forgetful sometimes, so try to jot down letter reminders for her around the house whenever you can. Mommy and daddy are counting on you to take care of granny while we're gone. You might be wondering why mommy and daddy have to leave. Well, my dear daughter, in this world, everyone's got something they just have to do. Your mommy and daddy are no different. Did you know? Daddy was awfully sick as a child. How sick, you might ask? Well, even the doctor could barely feel Daddy's pulse. It was that weak. But Daddy still managed to grow up. Looking back, there were many times when Daddy thought he might not make it. In the end, though, Daddy pushed through every time. Pretty amazing if you think about it. Maybe Daddy is just really lucky. Or who knows? Maybe he has some po super powerful adept looking out for him. Either way, Daddy has always felt like he's received a lot of love from this world. And you know what? Daddy loves this world right back. They told Daddy that this mission will be super dangerous, but both Mommy and, his, and Daddy decided to sign up. You have to go... Well, you have grown quite a bit taller the next time Mommy and Daddy see you again. Maybe it will be so big that Mommy and Daddy won't even recognize you. How about this? Let's use a code. Do you remember that one phrase Daddy taught you when you were little? That could be our secret code the next time we see each other again. That way we'll recognize each other no matter what. You remember it, don't you? When the middle of sand guard, evil shall never prevail. Nah. So I'm guessing... Yeah, they, they went off to become... Yeah, the Libe guard. Yeah, the middle of... Yeah. 
Yeah, this is a super, super good sword quest. What the hell? Yeah, I feel like... Yeah, but of course. Like, e even though Genshin can be a bit stingy at times with their rewards, you cannot deny that their writing quality is just top-notch. Ever since Fontaine came out, I feel like, yeah, the writing has just been super, super good. Like, yeah, you cannot deny, like, yeah, the writing quality of... Uh, that, yeah, Hoya has lately. Can I actually go about and, like, find... Uh, the gang eating together? Uh, I'm guessing I can't. Yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe, uh, yeah, they're just having their, that dinner off screen. Damn, I would have loved to have seen them all together. But, maybe, but who knows? Maybe we'll see them all together during Lantern Ride. I'm guessing that's why maybe Lantern Ride is taking a while to come, because they want us to do uh, Sienian story quests first before doing Lantern Ride. But yeah, that is the end of Sienian story quest. It was really, really good. And also, the, yeah, that part of the end was so funny yeah. <laughs> with Zhongli yeah. and everything. God, yeah, this 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 quest was a 10 out of 10. Oh, I love it. And yeah, cannot wait for Lantern Ride to come out, and hopefully maybe we'll yeah, see more of uh Sienyun and uh Yeah, maybe her new little apprentice as well. Yeah.